Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Welcome to another episode of The Council of Six, a weekly Dungeons and Dragons campaign fraught with all the drama and peril that will take your breath and steal your mind. My name is Jay Lungarl, your DM for the night, and our current campaign is a story loosely based on my fantasy novel, Souls of Magic's Dawn, a homebrew built on D&D and Beyond. Unlike our other streams, we won't be commenting on your comments while we are in play as to remain immersed in the story, but please still engage and comment as we go along. During the breaks, we will go through the comments and interact with you all, because at the end of the day, we are presenting this for your enjoyment. But without any further ado, are you ready to leave all that's real behind? Because there's something breaking at the brick of every wall that's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you want to go to the Council of I'm all bundled up, ready for the cold. <laughs> yeah, <me too>. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are. Cold though, Here we are again. Cold by me too. Episode one of season three. It's here. Or is it 1.5? Episode one. Woo! <laughs> season three. <laughs> Boy, what a cliffhanger Woo! we left on last time. Season three. What were we going to eat for dinner at the tavern? Dun, wow. dun, and dun. how are we going to buy all of our stuff so we don't freeze <laughs> to death? We, well, didn't we, we put ordered, our we ordered we just all the never food. Eat. Yeah, we just got to go eat it. We got it. We're still there. We just got to go have back a, I haven't ordered yet. I was going to. We order no, no, I was, did. We I ordered was, it and you all I went. I'm pretty sure said, everybody we'll be did. Back. I, yeah, I just ordered drinks. Like, no, I'm not eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You drew your That's what it was. She was on a liquid diet. She was on a liquid diet. She got the wine IV. The whip. Ale. Fuck that. I want the ale. Give me the hard shit. Ale? Oh, ale. Okay. Yeah, she picked the ale. Pick the ale, the huh? Equus, the Equus ale. Oh, the Equus ale, the horse ale. The horse, yes, the horse ale. Realize yeah. what it's made out of. <laughs> no relation to the Riders of Rohan at all. The Riders of Rohan. Wait, <laughs> Icewind Dale or Middle Earth? No, no, no. That the, the ale, the Equus ale, came from Equus, which is the town north of. It's an amalgamation of that. Who knows? That's, the, that's one of the river, the river lords. Is Equus. The river lords. The river yeah. dance. Do they river yes. dance at the river no. lords? No. <laughs> See, this is I could tell someone was not here since the beginning of the fight. You were not here. You didn't visit the spokes, motherfucker. That's why you don't understand the River Lords. You were here. Barely. <laughs> we're barely I know in the spokes. Are, but you, you talked about <clears throat> like you said the right of the Rohan. Well, yes, because I was. That is what he said. I did say that. But we're talking about Equus, which is one of the River Lords. It's one of the towns, <laughs> the, the big cities that are part of the River Lords. Yeah, the, but... the, the, the Bannermen. Equus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Making a joke, no relation to the rise of Rohan, because when I created it, that was the inspiration was Rohan. Okay. There, there you explained it. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was self-explanatory. <laughs> this fucking town is called Equus. <laughs> Nobody How, was even asking for an explanation. Just by horses, because Equus is horses. Just by horses. Yes. Sure. Sure. Chris just said. Fuck. You got inspired by horses. By Rohan. Where are we? Icewind Dale or Middle Earth? Icewind Dale. He's like, well, the thing about the Equus is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're Middle Earth. Cool, cool. We're just in that part we haven't seen yet. Uh, Who knows? Exploring new parts of Middle Earth. <laughs> Middle Dale. Middle Dale. <laughs> I like that name. Middle Dale. Here's a good go. one. Right. But here we are in Icewind Dale. You guys arrived yesterday. Just to give the opening for season three so people know kind of where we're at. After they left the island, rescued by Holgirn when they set the signal of a fire ablaze, Holgirn came and rescued them and brought them over to the coast right off outside of the town of Ice Hall, which is located in Icewind Dale. Far to the south, Icewind Dale has become trapped in a perpetual winter. Ferocious blizzards make the mountain passes through the spine of the world exceedingly treacherous, and this land has not felt the warmth of the sun in over 10 years. In fact, the sun no longer appears above the mountains, not even in what should be the height of summer. In this frozen tundra, darkness and bitter cold reign as king and queen. Most Dale residents blame Oral the Frost Maiden, Lado's god of winter's wrath, the shimmering aurora that weaves across the sky each night is said to be her doing, a potent spell that keeps the sun at bay. Dale folk live in a scattering of settlements known as the Ten Towns, uh, the main capital one being Ice Hall, which is where our heroes are located right now. The drop-off in caravans coming from the north and travel between settlements is an endeavor-ending winter has left everyone feeling isolated. Although each town has resolved to appease the Frost Maiden and sacrifices of one kind or another, no respite from winter's fury seems forthcoming. For adventures, such as yourselves, the Ten Towns is a place to test one's mettle 
and in the spirit of heroes who have come before, leave one's mark on this frigid, blighted land. So have you guys were running around town doing your things, talking to uh, the blacksmith, talking to the furrier and other people. It's about noon now uh, at this point uh, of the day that you guys have gotten there. Uh, I do believe Coda commissioned uh, those knuckle dusters, right? You commissioned those. I said I think it was a day for them to be completed, right? You know what I said? Uh, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, Hope bought some seal skin stuff. I remember that. And I think that was it, right? Everyone else didn't. Yeah. Uh, Turnick wasn't here. Uh, Turnick, were you, are you up to speed? Kinda. So you guys are there. Hurlion gave you some kind of clothes just to make it there. But you obviously, if you're going to be traveling more and more often in the Dale or doing more stuff, you're going to need more clothes and those right. are lists of stuff. Handouts. Yeah, if you look in the handout section of uh, um, Astral. Astral. It, thank you. Uh, it, it has the, the items that, you, that the basic items at least you'll need to get around. Uh, like I was explaining the other day, Coda asked, how much are they all together? And hold the price. She's like, forget that. I can't afford it. Uh, but you can piecemeal stuff. You can buy at least some stuff to get you through. And <clears throat> if you're going to go, if there's certain places you have to go, which are nearby, close uh, settlements of the 10 towns, you might be able to make it there. But anything further than that, you're going to eventually need all of this gear um, and stuff. And everyone Quick sold their question. ore. You didn't want, uh, sorry, Slev, let me finish this real quick. Uh, everybody sold their ore, Turnic. Uh, I, we didn't have Turnic sell it, so if you want it, you, or to sell it, you can sell your ore. Um, I didn't sell my ore. You did Yeah, you didn't. You were holding on to it. Mm-hmm. Right, gotcha. Uh, um, yeah, I'll, okay. Yeah, so if you want to go to the blacksmith and, and, and sell it, you can do that as well. Uh, and Slev, uh, Lucius can figure out what he wants to do with it also. Uh, it's because it's pricey. The clothes are pricey. The inn is 25 gold a night. You get a yep. meal ticket. Uh, for one specific meal uh, while you're at, at the tavern um, and all that other good stuff. So, <clears throat> pick up where you guys left off. Okay, real quick with the question. Yeah. Um, Is there like a warmth meter that we have to keep in track of? <laughs> um... I mean, I will let you guys... <laughs> yeah, there's not a warmth meter, but if you guys, for example brave the elements go out without the stuff i will let you know it's your, your how cold you're getting or because eventually <clears throat> with this kind of temperatures without the stuff you're going to end up taking damage because it's going to be well, it's going to factor into exhaustion okay, if well, you're not if there, wearing the stuff. Is, okay well, <clears throat> if that's the case can there be like some sort of way where we know what piece is how much warmth we get I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, at least we, at least we know what pieces that we could. Yeah, know, yeah. I mean, I would say this. Or anything like that. The the main thing you you would need, at least to like, survive going back and forth between the, the towns right nearby, is the parka, which is the coat, at least. Okay. You'll still be pretty cold in every right. you know other places, but at least the coat will keep you, you know, your core. It'll keep you somewhat warm. So if okay. you at least get the coat, that'll at least get you by for a little bit uh, until you can get everything else. That was a hundred, right? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay. All, All right. right. So Koda's going to the tavern and she's going to eat her food that she ordered before. She's going to have a seat there and just eat all of the fish and she's going to pack up. Wait, hold on. Wait. She ordered mad shit. She's going to pack up the potatoes. She got a side of potatoes. She's going to pack those up. And wrap them in some shit and put those in the side somewhere. She's going to uh, wrap up one of the orders of fish, I think, because she got two pickled herrings, I think she got. I don't remember. Yeah, you got a she lot of a bunch shit. You got a ton of shit. <laughs> That's all I remember. She, uh, you got some a bunch of shit. knuckle bread, I think, too, and just a whole load of, of stuff. Oh, I don't have the knuckle. Probably do. Yeah, she definitely got the canoe bular. That was definitely happening. Yeah, and she's probably going to eat that first. Oh, there's. Ah, uh, yeah. She she got the salmon and she got the pickled herring. So she's gonna she's gonna <laughs> save the two pickled herrings. She's gonna wrap those up, and she's gonna uh, and she's gonna eat the salmon. And she ate the kenobular immediately, cause she's a child. <laughs> she's a child. <laughs> uh, and I think a, I, um, I, I, Talos was. Ta I think Talos was going up to Vignar to ask him some questions. I believe weren't you, Talos? I thought you were going to ask him about work and stuff. Unless I remember. I thought we all were asking about work. Well, yep. Code obviously is going to I 
had already gone up and sang, remember, and heard some coin that way. <laughs> I'm going up to uh, get some potatoes. And then we had all started saying, hey, we should figure out how to get some work. And he had said to me, maybe there's some other work we could find, because I don't know if uh, that's going to be the best way for you to earn gold or whatever. Right. <laughs> it, it said, it's, yeah, being an asshole. Uh-huh. That kind of stuff. Uh, Hope, <laughs> Hope, Hope said you wanted you wanted you were getting some bread, knuckle bread. Is that what you were getting? Um, and potatoes. Okay, all right. So Vignar is like, oh, yes. knuckle bread and potatoes, Hasselback potatoes, certainly unless Hasselback potatoes one gold and knuckle bread is five silver. So one gold and five silver, and uh, um. Lindley. So I have this meal ticket. How much is that worth? Uh, the meal ticket uh, is only for the items that are marked on the menu. Uh, the pickled herring and the kelp stew. That's what the meal ticket is for. Anything else you have to pay on your own. Um, if you don't know what the kelp stew is, like it says in the menu, it's piping hot caribou stew with carrots and beets seasoned with dill steeped in a thick sauce. Yeah, you know what? I'll get that instead. I'll use a meal ticket and I'll save my coin for later. Golding, there you go. All right. The waitress will bring it to you shortly. Uh, has it anything to do with Marie actually eating soup right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I need assignment back to my character. Oh, yeah. Cold, 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 cold is eating. Oh, it's so delicious. Bignor, compliments to the chef. Are you the chef? Compliments to you. If you are not the chef, send my love. Cold, 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 cold. It's delicious. Oh, it's been so long since I've had proper fish. Oh. Oh. It's because I changed the characters, that's why. <clears throat> and Turnic, there is sausage on the menu if you look at the handouts. The menu's in the handouts. Where's this handout set? <laughs> uh, in Astral. Uh, you go over to, you click on your character. Okay. At the bottom corner. Not your actual character character, one in the bottom corner, your icon in the corner. And then there it says view handouts. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. Mm. Oh, Vignor, I heard you have work. Wait, what kind of work can we find around here? <laughs> so, are, why are you shouting from all the way at the table? Because I'm eating. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll explain it to your friends here. Uh, they can relay the information. Huh? The throat is, uh, you know, Don't worry. dry, here. dry, cold weather. From it, uh, it's rough on the vocal cords <laughs> after a while. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of work here in the Dale for you. To, uh, to pay for your living expenses and save up for this fool's quest of yours. We'll also give you some time to earn the Jarl's trust and blessing. We're all ears. Can you go Don't over care to about the perks. Why don't you hear about the work? Takes his, uh, Digitali kind of wipes his hands, looks around. Oh. Leans well, over. Kind of leans over. He's like, listen up. Pushes, push the empty plate away, walks up. Mm-hmm. Nothing... Nothing breeds fear and paranoia like a murderer with no face. Three cold-blooded oh, murders have been committed in the past month. A halfling trapper in East Haven, a human shipbuilder in Targos, and just three days ago, a dwarf glassblower in Bryn Shander. Each victim was found with a dagger of ice through its heart. Ooh, that's... Some scary business going on over here. I'm telling you. But I don't know, if you look at uh... the table way at the back over there, you see that uh, dwarf down yonder? The female with the the nasty scar across her nose, smoking a pipe? Yes. That's Hiln Trollbane. She's a retired bounty hunter. Uh, but she's taking it upon herself to investigate these recent murders because no one else, not even the Jarl's Council of Speakers, can be bothered. I would speak with her when you have a chance. She's also a font of information regarding the Dale itself and its politicking. And where where are these murders? Are they they're in the Ten Towns? Yes, yes. Uh, East Haven, Targos, and Bryn Shander. Those are three of the ten towns. That's where they've been happening. Is there, is there any uh, work that's here in the city here that, that don't have to traverse across, you know, the ten towns to take uh, care? I mean, I'm sure something will open up eventually, but currently this, this is the only one I know about. Sure. All right. It's good then. I mean, hmm. your owl friend can perform. I am paying him two gold pieces. I can. For his performance. It's a 
loose, uh, loose. I uh, feel like it's a loose interpretation of the word perform. But <laughs> well, everybody's a critic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're paying him, so. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I heard this tale that came out of tonight at Desert Place. This horrible band that was on stage. It was just. I, I, the name escapes me, but you know, everybody <laughs> has their likes. Fell asleep drunk on a stage or something. It's crazy, crazy. All right, and you said stuff. the dwarf woman with the scar on her face. Okay, thank you very much, Vignar. <laughs> Cora sits back down and finishes uh, eating. Yeah, I hope that's eating her food. It's been delivered. Anybody else want to do something? <laughs> Uh, yes, I would love to order some food. Because I've now had the chance to look at the menu. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just the lizard, came in the late lizard man, and, uh, pull up. Look at the menu for so long, trying to decide out of all the options. And uh, <laughs> it'd probably be a very big surprise out of what I'm going to take here. Um, I'll, t I'll take that meal with the sausage and potatoes, of course. That's like three gold. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, um, that, that reminds me. I guess I don't think. Talos. And Lucius yep. and Hope, I think, all got rooms, right? Yeah. Uh, Coda didn't. Uh, Turnic, we didn't volunteer if you were going to do it or not. But if you want to, if you get, um, if you rent a room at the inn, you get a meal, you get a meal ticket, which gives you uh, a free meal a day, which is the ones with the asterisks, the Caliph Stew and the Pickled Herring as well. Just so, you know, going forward. Uh, okay. But yeah, so you want the, uh, the, uh, where is it? The Medistra Polse, the pork sausage prepared with lard and onions. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. That sounds quite delicious, sir. All right. And what else did you say? Potatoes? Uh, is, that what, is that what you wanted? Uh, well, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. It actually the, comes the, with the side of potatoes. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's what I thought. You know, I was just making sure it came with yes. uh, some potatoes. But as long as you cook Certainly. the sausage, that's all that matters. I'm, of quite, I'm quite the sausage critique. Oh. Well, it's gotten quite a few good reviews. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I can't wait to you try write, it. Do you write for a publication, perchance? <laughs> well, I I, I, I I, don't exactly Nothing write. Uh, I, I, I do love to read, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Order of Minister Paul's day! I don't know who I'm yelling at. I'm the one that cooks it. But, uh... <laughs> and there's nothing behind you, either. <laughs> <laughs> there's a wall. Listen. Just, just get a little wild, senile, man. okay? Let's get a little senile. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that'll be three gold, young lad. Three gold, three gold. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I toss over three gold. All right. So you're preparing that as well. <laughs> I guess that's where Coda's sleeping, huh? <laughs> I mean, Coda's uh, just... Look at the dirty feet. <laughs> Coda, Coda uh, robbed <laughs> And weirdly enough, robbed him of two silver and then left two gold. <laughs> and a note. Uh, a note. Master Dwarf Greybeard, uh, would you like another show for your customers? Uh, Mignard looks around. It looks like we got a good crowd going. Why not? All right, let me uh, roll for performance and then see what I can break out here. Oh, nat 20. Woo! Six. <laughs> Plus 6, 26. Let's see here. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, oh, the pipes <laughs> are calling. From oh, this is Glen my jam. Glen. And something, something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much gold I get out of that? The crowd, the crowd is going. The crowd is going nuts. They're stomping their feet. You know, they're clapping along. Vignar, <laughs> I know him. Yeah, yeah that was <laughs> ready. Oh, Vignar tosses you the two gold know. payment. Um, and uh, as you go around, which you do, you have a hat? Do you do? Do you? Uh, is there any way you collect your your tips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got a hat. My hands, okay. Don't worry. Cole will <laughs> run around with her bag and say, These are for the performance. Just any tips, anything you would like to give? 
This is for Talos. Oh, would you like to give him your, your contact information, young lady? Sure. I will pass it along. Are, are you are you I genuinely trying you to well. um, uh, uh, persuade the them to think you're the collector? <laughs> um, sure. Give the I mean, gold, give tips to that li my little friend oh, over there. Well, you there. don't have to worry about persuading it, obviously. He's saying you're the collector. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, yeah, so you, so Koda walks around uh, with hat in hand, uh, and you collect uh, gold and five silver for that spectacular performance. Oh shit! All right, so three gold. And uh, he's gonna she's gonna linger around the uh, dwarven woman with the uh, with the scar on her face. Linger? Or are you going to like up talk yeah. to her? You're just hanging around her? Well, she's Do gonna you linger. Have to. Do you have to let it linger? Yeah. Well, right. uh, he'll he'll just, awkward, just sits like there. She's still just smoking her pipe. She has a a, a, a pint of ale in front of her. Uh, she's just holding like some parchments, going through them, looking at them as she's smoking her pipe, um, paying no mind to Coda, who's just lingering. Coda's gonna say, "Pretty good performance, huh?" The bird. You say this to to, to Hill? Yeah. All right. So yeah. as as you look at her, you do see uh, an elderly female shield uh, shield dwarf. Uh, her hair is white. Um, and tie. Oh, wait a minute. I have something for this. I have something for this. There we go. Um, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> giant. No, I mean, that's just to, sh just to show you. <laughs> it's just a display purposes. But yeah, so you see uh, her hair is white and tied into a long braid. You notice the long scar that runs across her nose uh, and an old and worn but sharp battle axe leaning against the table at her side. Uh, with her feet up on the table, she's casually smoking a pipe. Uh, the cherry scented smoke is swirling through the air above her as she looks through her uh, papers. Uh, and she kind of cocks her head over and she's like, Yes, yeah, certainly. And looks back down again at her paperwork. Mm, nonplussed, huh? Natural 20, she doesn't even care about the bird's performance. Interesting. <laughs> All right, uh, 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 yeah. I heard you might know a thing about some murders. Turns her head over, just kind of leans on it. She's eyeballing Coda. She's taking puffs of her pipe in between uh, the looks. And he's like, she's, uh, so you're interrupting my leisure about uh, work, you say? Have a seat. Sure, just one moment. Talos, I have a big fan of your performance here. I'm on my way. What's up? And then Coda <clears> sits <throat> down. This is the <laughs> lovely young woman who can help us uh, find some work around here in the Ten uh, Towns. Uh, Apparently, that... there's been some murders. Vignor has put us, made us privy to. Yes, but yes. How can we it? help? Well, recent events have been quite dire here in the Dale. There's been a lot of things going under the radar of the people in power. People are dying, disappearing, and many on the council are turning a blind eye to it. Bryn Shander, East Haven, and Targos are making humanoid sacrifices to Oro. Holding lotteries determine who gets sacrificed on the nights of the new moon. This is supported by their speakers, mostly from fear. To make matters worse, there are people making coin off this, abducting innocent souls to be sacrificed. Interesting. And how would one apply for that job of abducting innocent souls? Well, someone That's already has that job. As far as my investigations have told me, there's a man named Sefek Keltro. He works for a small traveling merchant company called Torg's Trading, owned and operated by a shady dwarf named Torga Icevane. In other words, Sefik hey, gets I'm around. Sorry. Can you, if you can just run that back for me, please. You said he was a shitty dwarf? Shield. <laughs> d shady. Shady oh. dwarf. Shady. Oh, and it's sorry. a she. Okay. Torga, Torga's a she, like me. She Torga. is a shady dwarf. dwarf. Okay. Yes. All right. yes. Sorry. Yes. In other words, uh, Sefik gets around. He's charming, makes friends easily. He's also Torga's bodyguard, so I'm guessing he's good with the blade. From what he I've noticed, some. from all accounts, supposedly, yes. He's actually quite charming and good-looking. Well. They're always the most dangerous ones. You've got to yeah. keep your eye on him. Uh, from my investigations, uh, his victims come from only the three towns that sacrifice people to the Frost Maiden on Nights of the New Moon. This is what passes for civilized behavior in Icewind Dale. Maybe the victims found a way to keep like their so. names <laughs> out of the drawings. And Sefik found out they were cheating, so he killed them. Maybe, just maybe, Sefik is doing the Frost Maiden's work. 
I don't know why you said maybe twice. It seems pretty certain that that's what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> have a lot of information that you're not sure of. Curious. Where 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 would we start? To... Well, I followed Torg's uh, caravan for a fortnight as it moved from town to town. Quite the devious little enterprise, mm. but that's not my concern. What struck me is how comfortable Sefak Catro looked in this weather. No coat, no scarf, no gloves. It was like the cold couldn't touch him. Kiss of the Frost Maiden, indeed. Is she uh, attractive? She, Torg? Uh, or Torg? No. Torg is not. She's, no, the Frost Maiden. The Frost Maiden. I have never seen a Frost yes. Maiden myself. The one so kissing people. Know. Oh. Right. Hmm. I've never seen her myself, but uh, but yeah. Last information, place Torg's traveling through Bremen. And this and is what by lost them. I'll pay you all collectively 500 gold pieces to apprehend total Sefek or individual total total to sounds fair to apprehend Sefek Caltro ascertain his guilt and deal with him prefer preferably without involving the authorities when the job is done return to me to collect your money I cannot stress this enough and she kind of leans in closer payment is for his head or proof of his demise Turning him into the authorities oh. forfeits your reward. Oh, wait, wait. So if 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 I could inquire further, uh, and Coda gets very serious now, so all the jokes aside, you are working outside of the authorities because you believe they are also involved. As I said, the speakers are allowing this to happen in these towns. You see, each town is an independent settlement that elects a leader or a speaker to represent its interests at the meetings. The council didn't, no, I was taking Icewind Dale civics. <laughs> Need a notepad. They are infrequent Please and take continue. place at the Jarl's Mead Hall. These meetings are called to discuss matters of shared interest and to settle disputes between the towns. I assume the Jarl told you that your movement is restricted, eh? Absolutely. Yeah. He was very clear about that. In fact, he wouldn't even let me fight his soldiers for fun. Well, he isn't wrong, but it also wasn't his decision. The towns be scared. Mm. Scared of the Frost Maiden, scared of the Cardians, but even worse, scared of their own neighbors at this point. While the Jarls and Overseer of the Dale don't let that egotistical oaf fool you, he may be the final say in Icehaw, but on larger matters that concern the entire Dale, he still must consult with the council. Interesting. So if we get in good with the council, then we can ignore the Jarl. I wouldn't say ignore the Jarl. He still, like I said, is the overseer, but these bigger matters, your movement is a smaller matter compared to the larger matters of, of the Dale. Uh, Hope, like, leans in on the table a little bit and says, so you're saying that if we kill him and bring him your head, you will pay us. This is also gold. my friend Hope. Hello. <laughs> So we just have to kill him and bring him I realize has head. a very deep voice for a female. But yes. Um, <laughs> yes, 500 dwarf, gold. Man. Dwarves are hardy. Collectively, that's, I believe, one, two, see, five of you. Five would be 100 gold apiece. Actually, there is a sixth member. Uh, but uh, presently, he is with us in spirit. Well, lucky for you, spirits it's, it's can't spend like gold. He's virtually here. <laughs> watching us almost as if he was chatting with everyone oh yeah i can and i can almost hear his voice do you accept my offer it sounds delicious uh and you say baron is where we start first bremen bremen bar 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 bremen bremen something about rolling the, the r's i just I bremen bremen it's not uh, that hard yes. young lass Blinch. bremen Bremen. Bra, bra, bre, Bremen. Bremen. Oh, okay, all right. Well, if one of Bremen. <laughs> Bremen. B -b 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 How far is What's... this from here? Mm. Oh, not that far at all. Uh, let me pull up the map here so I can show you guys. I think that I have it as the main thing on here. If I can throw it over, I don't know. Yeah, oh, there's a giant is... dwarf on my screen. Let me hide. Uh... Yeah. And how strict is Blemish about uh, the, the uh, <laughs> Blemish. getting in and out of it? Uh, again, uh, I am, you know, if you, the, the Jarl, if you, uh, I'm sure he will allow, especially with my word, for you to travel to Bremen. But it's right on the other side of 
uh, Mare Dualden, the lake that uh, Ice Hall borders. Uh, so it's on the far southwest corner of Mare Dualden. Oh, so you can just follow the path around the lake and you make it to Bremen. We're going to need some warm clothing. Some yeah, so warm it's not clothing that far of a walk. Uh, I, I would say the weather doesn't look like it's too blustery out, uh, but probably take you about half hour, 40 minutes to trek through the snow to make it there. And I would, yes, I would get some kind of warmer gear if, if I was making it that way. At least a coat. And uh, and do these, do these, uh, I don't know, are they the cultists? Do you have, you have a term for them? Uh, what, what are these... Sacri- these human sacrificers. Uh, well, again, people are scared in the Dale, and they feel that they can uh, appease the Frost Maiden and maybe stop this perpetual winter by sacrificing people. Mm. You know how scared people get. They so, were isolated, okay. were cut so off. So they're not organized in any way. No, it is just... Uh, most of it is, uh, I feel, superstition. They think this is helping, mm. but killing their own people is not going to release of the course. spirit. Of course, of course. And does there does there seem to be any kind of pattern? Is it maybe you know the 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 new moon or some other yes. kind of? Uh, this, well, the sacrifices are held on a new moon. That's when the sacrifices are held. Yep. Mm, and course. so far, the only cities, like we mentioned, the, are the towns that is allowing this, is East Haven, Targos, and Bridge. Right. Yep. yep. Makes sense. But last you heard, they were in they were in blemish. Bremen is where the caravan was headed. Yes, it's a tra- it's a traveling caravan. It goes through all the ten towns, selling merch. Mm-hmm. Okay then. All right. So, uh, so so then you would start in Bremen if it were, if you were going. That's to do the it. last last I tracked them. That's where they were heading towards. All right. If so they're then. still there, I am unsure, but I'm sure if you're not, right. if they're not, there'll be people in the town that can let you know where they had left. Yes, we could find a lead of some sort. All right, then. Uh, I appreciate your time, and and unless there's anything else, and she kind of looks to hope and tell um, us. How can we find you again when we do complete the task? Oh, I'm always around here. If I'm not in the inn, you can ask Vignar, and he can get, he can have someone sent for me. So go to the inn to find you. Well, here. I mean, I started tavern. The tavern. The head. The boar's head tavern. Yes. I'm usually here. And if I'm not. As Vignar and and he'll he'll send he'll send someone for me. So we'll come back to the tavern once we get the hat. Yes. I hear the ham here is excellent. Ham? There's ham here. At the, at the boar's head. I'm partial to the roast beef. <laughs> yeah, the pepper the pepper turkey is my. Uh... She, she kind of goes through her papers and and sees the menu and she's like, "Are you eating Where here?" <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, yes, no, no sorry. sorry, must be another Boar's Head Tavern. <laughs> 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 Mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> if there, were, I'm sure maybe perhaps some butcher shops might sell uh, yes. uh, 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 items that are similar to what you're thinking. Yes. Uh. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Perhaps it was the Boar's Head Butcher that I remember now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> must be must be a family run business. Yes, yes. <laughs> so she kind of right, looks so back at the paper. She's, do you have any other questions for me? Any other thing you'd like to discuss? No, thank you, Miss. Uh, thank Madam you for your time, Mr. Storm. Certainly. Our, and remember, would there be any kind of advances? Maybe if we, we needed to purchase some items in order to accomplish <laughs> the. Yes. Well, perhaps like. Uh, I don't. I don't I need think it was necessary to laugh clothing. directly in my face. I've heard that so many times during my time as a bounty hunter. You think anyone ever paid me in advance to capture somebody? Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, okay. but you but, guys are quite. And you work for some very mean people. <laughs> quite. Again, it's a doggy dog world. You get paid for render services rendered. Uh, this well, certainly well, wasn't like that in the Riverlands. <laughs> uh, look around you. A little harder living here than it is in the Riverlands. We're not as soft Indeed. for those folks up north. Oh, all right. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, you have a great day, uh, Dwarf, and certainly don't choke on the last swig of your ale. And she kind um, of just walks away. But put us back in the in the tavern. <clears throat> nope. Nope.
It's a big bitch. We're, we're still not in the, the tavern. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> hey, sorry. Hold on, hold on. I got hit. Forgot. There you go. No, I forgot. There, there, we, go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay. I see Slevin's mouth moving. Oh, Slevin, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh. Say something. Was Lucius asleep? Is that, is that no, I can't. We can't hear you. See your mouth and nothing's coming out. Yeah, nothing's coming out. So. Yeah, he's working on it. I know. I know. There you go. There you go. Mm. Yeah. Now you're back. All, All right. right. <clears throat> so the skin, I got some of the skin stuff. It's cheap, but this is definitely not going to help us. Um, I guess we should okay. go over to the fur and maybe get some coats and some boots and see if that how far that can get us. Well, I do not have the gold for. How much do okay, you have? Well, I, have I said I was chowing down the salmon. Silver. Okay. So to get the coat, I would need. Well, let's go over there and see what we would. Forty-six gold and ninety silver. What is it, right? Yeah. Uh, and Turnick, did you want to sell right? your ore or no, Turnick? Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do that. Whatever we left at tavern. Okay. Um, if you want to okay. roleplay it, we can, or we could just say you went over to your blacksmith. Oh, um, we'll, we'll just play quick since you all already did that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you were, when you were with everyone, you, you sold your ore as well. It was 500 gold. So that's what you got in your... 500, your and I can't yeah. get rid of the Cool, cool. Right. I will do that now. 500. I have no ore. Because <laughs> I was not with you. <laughs> all right. Um. How much is the Parker? Well, uh, Parker? Uh, 100 gold. Again, I, yeah. Head, well, let's, head over to let's, 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 yeah, let's head over to the furrier first. The furrier. Unless you want to... Are you coming with us, Lucian? Yes. Okay, let's go head over and there I'm just first. stuffing my face off the plebs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, let's, man. let's head over there first, and then we'll go. We'll see where well, we, can, what we can get. Kernick, how are you on gold? Uh, I mean, I, I just got a big payout from the... Uh... The ore? <laughs> Or so I have. Uh, You're I'm, fine. I'm doing okay. Fine. Okay. So the only one is Talos, and what I might end up doing is helping him out and giving him a loan so we can. What if get we on. all chipped in? Yeah. He's, he's been a good buddy for us. What if that we all chipped in and helped? Better him? idea. Yeah. All right. Let's let's head over there and see what we Loans. can get. I've been enjoying we'll your entertainment, Talos. Thank you. The music got sure, suddenly a lot. I'm sure everyone else can uh, agree yeah, on yeah, that. Yes, Change the did. volume. To you right, guys or hope could just could just be the yeah, crescendo. To me. Yeah, it was just a crescendo. Start getting louder, <laughs> okay, so hopes hopes heading over <laughs> to the fur. Oh, could you just move right. us all over there, please? Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. Cool. Why wow, you can't move we yourself? We don't really have to actually move, right? Because it's just right. It's just a yeah. Box, so. right. It's hey, we're at the fur here. <laughs> 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 we did it. Right. I like so yeah, you guys go into fur here. Um, you, cool. you see, you cool. see caribou furs and everything just lining the walls everywhere. There's racks where, where skins are being like uh, uh, dried, and um, it's a it's kind of a, a dank scent because it's fur that's that's being dried and and, and uh, uh, created as you come in there. Um, and you see a uh, a woman, middle aged woman, uh, behind a counter, uh, working on some of the furs. She looks up as you come in. She's like, "Welcome, welcome to the Ice Hall Furs. How can I help?" Oh, Hi, my name's Hope, and I, I was looking for some warm coats and boots that will uh, reasonably price, but will do well on getting us around and keep us warm while we're going on our travels. Sure. Uh, I honestly, with the with the weather here, many people have died without wearing the right gear. I would recommend I getting Hope everything, just... but let me show you what we have, and then you guys can see what, what you can get. So she lays everything out for you on, on the table. There's a big table in the center, and she lays everything out in your zip. A caribou parka, which is a nice big fur coat. Looks very warm. Uh, there's also carib caribou pants, caribou fur pants. Um, there's mittens, uh, which could go over those seal skin gloves that you have. They're just like a big mitten to keep your hands warm. Uh, there's also a scarf and muckluck boots, which go over your seal skin boots uh, to keep your feet warm as well. So she has them all laid out uh, on a table for you. And she, she points to the parka. She's like, this is the most important piece to coat, obviously, to, to keep your core warm. This is 100 gold. Uh, then the pants here uh, are 50 gold, the mittens are 30, the scarf is 10, and the muckluck boots, 50. Lucious are you all, Lucious are all, all five of you looking to, to get yeah. items? Yeah, we are. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, all five bulk. of us want yes. to get. We are yeah. going to purchase today. Uh, and I do have a question about these furs here. From what Certainly. kind of a creature do you acquire these furs specifically for these? Uh, and and where can we find those? And if I were to skin some and bring them back to you, would you be able to use them? And would you pay? Uh, I mean, they're all them? across the dale. Uh, mostly, you have to head towards the spine of the world and, and the trees down there, down south. Um, mm. and there's a few scattered sometimes here in the ten towns, but they're mostly sure. outside of the towns, um, more in the wilderness. Uh, but yes, if, if you were able to hunt one, I could I, I could uh, give you a fair price for skins in good condition. That is good to know. Also, I have this, and she kind of digs in her bag and pulls out this like bright uh, uh, green Tunisian cotton. Would you be able to line one of the parkas with this here? Here, oh, take this is, fine, high is, quality from the river. That is, you enjoy, yes. We don't get silks down here. It's a rough life down here in Iceland. I'm sorry. This is... This is some very, very soft lining. Because she opens up the park, as you see, it's just kind of looks like the rough interior. Scratchy mm. <laughs> interior. Yeah, nope. Don't want that. You know, <laughs> like this is this is what we have. But this silk, this is beautiful, beautiful silk. Mm. Uh, I mean, if, if are you asking if I could line your coat with this silk? Is that what you're asking? It, precisely, yes. And considering that I'm, you know, half the size of every, everyone, <clears throat> um, I imagine that you probably wouldn't need as, as many materials to make a coat for me. Well, I mean, if you're providing the silk, all I have to provide is thread and, and my labor. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, if, for an additional, um, let, me, let me take a look. You know what? One silver piece, I'll, I'll, add, I'll add this, this silk. Mm. Sure, sure. And uh, we can just call it 100 even because you're making half of a coat? I mean, we can discuss price if you're all buying things, depending on how much you're buying. Well, we definitely sure. need the coat and the boots for sure in order for us to get to where we need to do without dying. Okay, so coats and boots, that would be 150 gold per. So we're looking at a total of, what, 600, 750 gold for, for all five of you? Maybe some pants would be important. I don't, I don't know if we want to be pantless out here in the cold. <laughs> and if you had the I pants... Will take I will take a coat and boot. Uh, if you can line them both with the Tunisian cotton. I have two and a half yards there, so it should be enough. Okay. Um, are you guys, uh, if you guys are looking for deal, does someone want to roll a uh, persuasion check or, or anything to... Tell us! Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so, uh, I'll roll the persuasion. Just roll it. And, or... Yeah, yeah, you're not doing passive. Right. You're, you're trying to persuade right. it for... <sighs> Nine. Better price. Jesus Christ. Nine? Ooh. Yeah. Um, Nine. With advantage, because so everybody helped. <laughs> <laughs> so she looks around, and, and, and uh, uh, Talos is talking to her, and, and she looks 750. 750 for everything. This is what I can do. With the silk lining for, for the little one here, I can do 700 for everything. For the, for the coat and boots for all five of you. Oh. Fine. Turnick wanted to know about Delicious. pants. Pants. Well, yes. If you wanted the pants, uh, uh, Mr. Lizardman, uh, the the pants uh, we're looking at fifty gold for the pants on top of that. Hmm. I, I do. I do like my pants. I don't. I don't. I, you know. You might have to. Does it have a hole for my tail to come out from? You know, I don't and know if you need to work on that. I can, if we. You know. We we can, we can, we can split the seam, and I can. Stitch an extra seam around each things for you as well, yes. Since you guys are spending so much money here. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that offer. I'd, I'd quite love to have some pants. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's uh, so 700 uh, for everything, for everyone, and then Turnic is an extra 50 for the pants. Cool. Um, so, how are we right, splitting I also this, have, um, I also have the uh, three and a quarter yards... Oh, sky blue cotton. Can you can you line that up in mine as well? Um, you know I'm feeling generous today. Why not? Thank you, thank you. Well, okay. I will now does really... it do they come in does does it come in sizes like small, medium, or large? Well, I'm going to measure you all. <laughs> I have multiple sizes, so I'm going to measure you. And, okay, and yeah, and but the thing is. But it, okay, and I'm looking at her. I'm 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 trying <laughs> oh to explain. I don't want it to rip. 
<laughs> Why would it rip? Yeah. Young man, mm. I'm, I'm uh, trying I to understand. Have, I have a certain condition. I have a certain condition where I, if once I get a certain, uh, with my temper, once I get a he certain. Did, uh, bit, uh, no, no, st- I'm st- Koda just kind of steps up in front Koda. of him and says, uh, it's, "The thing is, sometimes we like to wear the same clothes at the same time. We like to share the space with each other, uh, and we don't want the clothes to rip when we're engaged in these kinds of. Sure. Look, I can go into uh, yeah, the, the details yeah. if you'd like. Matt. <laughs> I don't know if you want. To They're not something up. Caribou me, but... skins are not very. What's the word? Stretchy. Uh, Mm. Okay, I'm... so I'll uh, make mine a size uh, larger. <laughs> Give him a little <laughs> loose, little, little room, little, to th- little breathing room, room yeah, if you please, will. Is that what you're asking? Indeed, yeah, precisely. Expanding that room. That would be perfect. Expanding room. Um, bagginess. <laughs> I like a little, the, I a little like space the to grow, so you can grow into it if need be. Yes. You know? And she's like, she's just, she's just, scr- boy, she's just scratching, you know? and she's like, I'm still confused as to why you would, you would need this. I, I. Uh, and I'm trying not, I'm uh, trying not to <laughs> wolf out in front of her, and I'm just like I'm trying to be as calm and like polite. Yeah, what if, roll deception? Well, but, well, maybe we could show her here. And I, and what if I slap Lucius? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you just slap him. You gotta roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, roll slap him. I'll slap him. I'll slap him. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll let it happen. I'll let it happen. And I, I, I t- he slaps me, <laughs> and I'm, 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 at first I'm looking at the crew. And I'm smiling. I'm, I'm like, I'm dying here, guys. And he just slaps me, and I turn to the girl, to the woman. And I like have half of a werewolf face and growls. Yeah. Um. Oh, she looks at you. She's like, oh, a lichen. Oh yes, I apologize. I apologize. My, I apologize. My brother was bitten, so we're we're kind of used to this. So it's. What? I'm not as scared as as, as most folks would, oh, but I can see your problem. Um, <laughs> you're quite furry. Koda starts yes. looking around at the at the furs, like. <laughs> I mean, I know I know my brother. Uh, how long? He, <laughs> how, how long? When you transform, how long are you usually in this form? Rarely oh, ever. Actually, I, actually, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I've ever actually seen him turn into a wolf. Well, I didn't uh, say so how many times you know, does he do it. I what? asked how long oh. is he a wolf? Well, never. How if long? he hasn't become one, then he wouldn't <laughs> spend any time there. So I don't know how you could. What? Also, are one of these furs your brother? Because that would well, be... No, these are caribou. <laughs> how dare you? I don't know. You you were furry. You asked you me what brother. these are made of. I said caribou. Did I say they're made out of human wolf all skin? All of them? They just have different color. I didn't know if they were all the same You asked animal. what are they? I said caribou. <laughs> no, I didn't. I thought that was specific to the. Well, just did, did because have any from my brother's fancier. experience, when he is wolfed out, as you call it, uh, he typically can last in the elements for about twenty minutes to a half hour without needing the coats on when he's in wolf form. So, I, I, I would suggest just removing them before you do it. Release the hound. It's but I wouldn't suggest staying in wolf form longer yeah. than, than 20 minutes or so in the elements without the coats. Ooh. Okay. No, lady, just make them big. Oh. All right. So this is just, what you if you could just He's going to be swimming in them. That's all I'm going to say, but that's fine. If you want the if you want the, the triple XL, I can give you the triple XL. Maybe yes, buy yes. two pairs. The, the no, Jordan's no, no. Have you heard of the We're not buying two pairs. That's too expensive. Yes. What about what about the feezies? The feezies? The feezies? The feezies? The She's like, is this is this a term from up north? We're not familiar with that term down. No, that's specific to him. <laughs> okay, so how much would that be if we're only splitting it between the four of us? Well, I'll throw in my 50. I'll put in 200. Well, if, if, if not counting Turnix pants, um, the for the coats and the the boots, if you divide it by four, that's one hundred and seventy five gold each per four. And we got two fifty so far. <laughs> well, how much is mine? Well, what I'm saying, up. if you split it by f- up to four people, it's a, a the seven hundred. It's one hundred and seventy five gold each. So for you to get the coat and the boots, just like everybody else, one hundred seventy five gold. Oh, okay. And how much are the boots up by themselves? 
But the boots by themselves are 50. Wait How did that math come up? Oh, yeah, it's because there's an extra person. It's because four people are paying for five. That's why it's more. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do I'm is since. Uh, 50 in, so it's 650. Do 650 divided by four. Hundred sixty-two gold and five silver. Each. Ooh. And for turn, it could be two hundred and twelve fifty. This is getting intense. <laughs> All right. So. So what? Is, what is? Uh, so what? Since I'm giving you, since I'm giving you half of the material. Um. How much is you're it? You're just Wait, giving oh, him half, a line error. You no. mean you're giving me the cotton to, that you're asking me to add that I'm doing for free? Is what you're what you're asking? Yeah, she's just lining you're not providing the coat me, with that. Yeah, you're not you're not providing me the caribou. That's that's my. No, material. you're just giving her yeah, the yeah, liner yeah. inside. That's but that's half. She's got the no. Caribou. That's not half. That's no. no she's that's just adding a liner. to no, no, no. it. You're right. Yeah. You're at, you're adding for an extra layer of comfort. You're asking just to have cotton lining in it. The coats, as they are, come with no lining, and, and that's the cost of them, is 100 gold. And she's doing it for free. Uh, right. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I'll throw in... I'll do like Coda did and throw in 200 as well. There we go. Now we're talking. We don't have to throw in 200. It's 162. 162 remember remember right. this thing called player agency? Yeah. I mean, so are, are you giving it. her a tip or are you just making Lucius in turn? No, we're just, less? yeah, so, so far she has 450 out of, out of how much she needs. So, Turnick, what can you throw in? Yeah, no, because I did two, Coda did two, and you did 50, so that's 450 altogether so far. I still need another 250. Okay, so, Plus Turnick. 50 for Turnick's pants. Well, I was I was just gonna pay for all my stuff. Well, if, if they threw in that here. if they threw in that much, it's only need a, a hundred gold from Lucius and hundred fifty from Turnick, or one twenty five each. Yeah, one twenty five each. Whatever. I mean, that's fine. Turnick's getting his, so Turnick's getting his pants for for cheap. Yeah, Lucius, is cheap, cheap. You, you all take you all taking care of him. And, and, and tell us too. So you're, you're all. Oh, yeah. I was, I was, are you, you all don't have to buy my pants for me. I was just wanting to treat myself a little extra. You, you all don't have to take that out of your pockets if you all don't want to. Dude, you're getting it, it for 125. Okay. There's a lot of people. Yes. You're getting it for less. Accepted. Come on. Okay. Let's just, okay. yeah. Are you guys getting it or not? Let's go. So, so here you go. So Coda, Coda and Hope removed 200 gold. You not hear me? Yeah. Oh, we hear you. We hear you. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, Coda and Hope are removing 200 gold. Talus is removing 50. And Turnick and Lucius are removing 125 each. Okay. I'm removing Okay, just removing it. <clears throat> and if you want to put it in your inventory just to keep track of what you have, you can. Uh, yeah, but every, yeah. Everybody has the parka and the, the mukluks. And, Turnick and the has boots. Pants. The mukluks okay. are the boots. The mukluks are the boots. Yeah. yeah. And the boots. and uh, like, like uh, just to explain to Turnick as well, too. Uh, Hope bought the seal skin boots and, and gloves, I believe, right? Yeah. The, those are the waterproof stuff. Like the mukluks aren't waterproof, so if you step in water or stand in snow too long, eventually it's going to leak through. That's why you you want to get the seal skin stuff eventually. Uh, but for now, you can at least get. Uh, okay. Mm. How much is those mukluk or the or not the? It was a hundred dollars for both, I think. Yeah, and that was at the at the leatherworks. It was hundred dollars for both for the, the leatherwork. Yeah. If you just get the boots, they were seventy five, and and the gloves were twenty five. Gotcha. Uh, I'll I'll stick with this for now. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah. Who do I talk to for like uh, when it comes to the venoms and and stuff like that? Oh, the venoms. Uh, the alchemist. Okay. Yeah, I need to. I believe Coda was the alchemist. there. Coda wants to let him know. Oh, so Cody, you've actually been, want to you've actually been to the alchemist. So, <laughs> am I am I am I mistaken, or do you know the way? What? Oh, yes, right there, on the other <laughs> side, on the in the middle of the strip mall. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Wait, strip Does mall. anybody else need to go to the alchemist? 
Uh, I'll come Maybe. along with you. Uh, I'll come along right. with you, see what there is. I got these, uh, I got some venom and I got some mushrooms that I'm hoping I can make into like potions or whatever. Oh, oh you kept shit. You kept some of those shrooms, huh? Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, plus I got two large poisonous mushrooms. So we'll see how that, you know, how, how that, uh, <laughs> comes into effect with my, with my arrows. All right, so uh, I guess I'll move over. To, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the alchemist. Sure. I mean, you don't have to necessarily, but yeah, that's fine. So Turnic and Lucius go to the alchemist, uh, and you see yep. a uh, elderly man. Was it a man or was it a woman? I think it was a woman when you went there. That was a woman uh, behind the counter uh, at, at the alchemist. She waves you in. You see, the, the place is uh, a lot of, lot of uh, sense. Some sweet, some pungent. You just fill the air uh, in the alchemist stuff. You see dried herbs and stuff hanging. You see lots of vials uh, of various liquids all behind her. Um, at the counter. Oh, I love it. I love the look. I love the feel. Lucius takes a big, deep breath in. And with a big, warm smile on his face, he's like, ah. Passes out because this not <laughs> <laughs> No, Lucius, this smells pretty weird. I uh I don't know if I oh, like this. Tourniquet smells kind of weird. Uh, absolutely amazing in here. I feel like as if I'm in my element. Your your element smells weird, buddy. <laughs> so uh, I turn to, I I go to the alchemist and uh, good evening. Um, hello. So I'm wondering I'm wondering if you can uh if you can help me here. I have some I have uh some poisonous mushrooms. Uh, and I was wondering if there's anything that you can do. I love, uh, I love hunting, so poisonous arrows maybe, if you can, must, uh, if you can, well, what do you do here? Uh, well, we do plenty of things. Uh, I, we, I, I have infused, uh, uh, weapons or certain things with this kind of stuff. I, I, if I could see the mushrooms, please, and she, she pulls out, like, a, a, a piece of cheesecloth so she doesn't touch them. She's like, just, just drop them right, right in there, please. Alrighty, and I grab a cloth and I and I, I grab them and because they're in a cloth and I ended up you yeah. know putting that cloth onto she, that. She puts it down. And you see her put it. She, she puts it on a scale and puts the little weights on there and she's measuring them. Uh, and then she takes out like a little, a little a little like uh, tweezers and she's poking off some some spores. Um, and then she looks under a, a, a magnifying glass and is looking at them. And she's like, yes, yes, yes. I do recognize uh, these mushrooms. It can be quite, quite poisonous. Um, I oh, think... you're telling me. I I got pretty sick last time I uh, placed a finger on them. Uh, yeah, I, I I could extract probably about a, a vial of this size of poison out of these two mushrooms. Um, and okay. what were you looking to do with this? Now I also have on top of that I also have some scor the some scorpion venom. I have some snake venom, and I also have a scorpion pincher at that. And I just what would you like to do with down. this? <laughs> <clears throat> um. Well, what can uh. What 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 would you like? What would you recommend? I mean, I have all these items. I I would, maybe maybe making a lace for 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 my bow. So I guess like like. For your oh, arrows? For arrows, would you I like, like yeah, poison tip arrows? arrows? Is what yeah, you're saying? Poison yes. Tips. So, you would have to have special arrow arrowheads made uh, at the blacksmith uh, for for that. Um, and and a vial of about this size, I would say we can inf I can infuse about fifteen arrowheads uh, with this. Okay. Um, so you would have fifteen arrowheads, uh, poison arrowheads that that uh, that you could use with that. Um, as far as the other venoms you have, uh, do you have the vials so I can see how much there is? Yeah, and I start whipping everything out. I put everything on the um, yeah. What's it called? Yeah. So the other stuff that because these are much smaller amounts. So so the, the other stuff is flame venom and and the uh, 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 scorpion venom. Probably could make about two arrows each from these. So fifteen poison. Even and... with the even with the pincher because the pincher is big. Y yes, but it comes out of a very needle like hole. It only holds oh. droplets of of venom. Okay. Yeah. 
it doesn't hold very much. The mushrooms that you can extract much more from. There's a process. There's a whole process. We boil them down, distilling. Right, right. There's a lot that we can get out of the mushrooms. But the but the the, now, the venom from the so, fangs it only holds very minute amounts. Now, when it comes to the venom that's uh, or the poison that's coming from the mushrooms, what kind of toxin is that? The mushrooms? Uh, well, you said yes. you you've experienced them. Did you know? <laughs> I just uh, that was just from touching them. I'm trying to see what the side effects sure. are, uh, like if it's inside me. Death be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Is there a tie venom to that? <laughs> death. Um, Maybe that I can take within a few seconds or something. Death. Uh, uh, meta metaing. I would death. say it 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 adds an additional one d four poison damage to your arrow your 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 arrow. Uh, Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Which again, now, when you get the, when you get the arrow, when we, if you if, made the arrows made, I'll tell you what the damage is of each one, so you'll have all that information. Okay. Cool. Um. <clears throat> now, if we were to combine the poisons, would, would not it, recommend would it, it. Would not recommend. That. No, would not recommend it. Is there a reason why? I'm the alchemist. Just, just trust. Just trust me on this. When you mix different things, it can create fumes that can be fatal. So I, I wouldn't suggest mixing things. Oh, okay. I completely understand that. All right. So I guess I'll have that made. How much would that be? Uh, so she pulls out her abacus and uh, she's going to send. Uh, uh, I would say five gold. We can call it even. Very well. Five gold it is. That's for me to, to make them and infuse them. You still have to get these special arrowheads made. So exactly. 15 of the Thank poison, another four for the other two. So you'd have to have 19 arrowheads made uh, at the blacksmith shop. Because he knows right. we work together. He, he, he has he puts a specific oh, uh, a, a capsule inside of them for me to infuse it itself. Yes. All right. That's that's perfect. That's perfect. And I, I go ahead and... Uh, would, do I pay? Do I pay now or or after the? Oh uh, yeah, I can get started on this. And when, when like uh, I believe your friend uh, came in for something as well. Uh, once the blacksmith uh, completes the arrowheads, he just gives them right to me, and I put them together and and, and infuse it for you. So, yeah, so uh, if you want to pay me now, I can get started on it. Uh, but again, I would go to the blacksmith as soon as possible, so that way those are ready as well once this is done. All right, excellent. Well, then I'll come back, and then when once the once everything is done, I'll pay you guys. I'll yes, pay you and it'll be about a day, assuming you get the arrows ahead uh, permission now. Uh, within about 24 hours, uh, everything should be ready. All right, excellent, excellent. Let me get over mm -hmm. to that person right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I look at Turner Gold Giddy. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, good for you. Good for you. I think I think I'll uh, I, th I think I'll probably just leave here. I don't I don't I don't like the smell of this place. <laughs> and keep in mind, these are these are numbered arrows, Lucius, and they only work once. So when you when you use them, they come out of your inventory. Okay, sounds good. Um, so I, think I, go, I think I might go. I think I may go check out the herb, herbalist. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead over to the blacksmith. So I'll you you, you that. do that. I'm gonna join him at the herbalist. Okay. Is there anything in particular, you right. guys? Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll move over to Hope and Turnick going to the herbalist. Mm -hmm. um, and you come in, and Where's there's a uh, uh, middle-aged uh, dwarf behind the counter, uh, male. And uh, welcomes you in. Uh, how can I help you all, folks? Well, Hope, is there any particular reason why you came? Um, I kind of want to look around and see what they have. I'm working on making my own potions too now. So it's good to be here and look around and see what they have and what's available and how much this stuff actually sells for. Nick, were you here for a certain reason? Uh, not 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 in particular, right off hand. I just kind of wanted to check out the herbalist. What are you guys um, looking for? Do you have something that increases like body warmth? Like if somebody was in I'd be a rich man if I was able to do that. No, 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 no. Like if somebody was on the cusp of hypothermia, something that would warm their bodies and help bring them back. Uh, no, I don't have anything help. specific. I, I do know just general potions of healing do help re revivify 
someone's health, well, yes. regardless of what's causing their their ailment, as long as it's not like poison or anything like that. If it's just bodily injury, which the cold does cause, is bodily injury, um, a potion of healing would help revivify that. Some also, and you know, some strong spirits uh, also do warm the interior. So, but in Icewind Dale. Any elements for too long, none of that stuff will keep you alive for too much longer. Do you have something that is like um, fire in a bottle? Fire in a bottle? I'm confused, lady. What What are you What are you looking for? Are you looking for a bottle that has little fire in it or a bottle that explodes when it is broken? I, I, I'm... Uh, yeah, something that, like, if we were to throw it, it would explode. Some kind of cocktail of sorts? Fire. Is what you're, what you're something what you're like asking. alchemist fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be more along pieces, the a flask. The al- that's more along the alchemist um, mm. thing. You do notice a lot, a lot of dried herbs hanging. Um, one may be reminded of the smell that Lucius carries around him quite often, uh, <laughs> a- 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 as well. Uh, behind there and other uh, kind of herbs as well for other kind of medicinal purposes and stuff like that. Alright, so this is more just just the herbs, not like potions and stuff like that. Yes, the herbalist is herbs. I mean, there's herbs that could be... Make potions. Right, there could be herbs to make potions. The bundle. Like, you were collecting herbs, I believe. Uh, okay. King's Foil and a few others. Did you get all the items or was some of them missing? No, not yet. I think I'm still missing some. Right. So some of those items she, she would has be things. That for sale. Some of those, yeah, some of those things the herbalist would probably have. I'm still missing uh, King's Foil. King's Foil? Is that what you're looking for? King's Foil? Yeah. So he goes uh, back and he looks at, uh, turns around and he's going through all the hanging herbs and he's going through them one by one and he finds some and he grabs one and he brings it down and you see him kind of working with it and uh, he puts it all, you see him shake it into it, he pulls up a little vial, he's like were you looking, you said you were, were you making potions with this? Is that what you were looking to do? Yeah. Yeah, potion? actually I have everything but that's the last thing I need to make my healing potion. Certainly. Would you want to see and, if and, we could get more components while we're here? Maybe? Hope? Um... It would help to gather more while we have the chance, especially of something rare like that, if we could. <coughs> I was King's looking was King, at... King's Foil was the rare one. Was, was that the rare? Because I, I, told, I told you one of the items were harder to find. Hope. Yeah, I think yeah, because I, I was able was to get the, I was able to get the Mud's work, but I wasn't able to get the King's Foil. Okay, the Mud's work was the rare one, right? Yeah, I mean, I okay. had to get three of those and two of the key, of the King's Foils. Right, and the, I'm and not the amounts. Three. I'm saying, because I told you one of the items was, was harder to find. I believe it's King's Well, Lord. I'm assuming it's the King's Foil, because that's the only okay. one I was looking and I could not find. Okay, I just wanted to refresh my memory. Okay. Um, yeah, so as far, yeah, as far as the King's Foil, you said you needed two two, two vials uh, of King's I have, Foil? I have one already. I just need one more. One, okay, yes, yes. So so this one vial of King's Foil, which will help you complete your potion, uh, you're looking at uh, one gold piece for this. What if we wanted to buy more of that? Uh, one gold piece per vial. So to make it, I would need I need two of those plus three uh, of the mugwort. mugworts. Yeah, the mugwort, uh, which I believe I do have some here as well. Yes, I do. I do have some mugwort. Um, these are five silver each. So if you're looking for comments to make uh, one whole potion uh this would be uh, 1.5 gold for this and the king's foil is another one gold so uh two gold and five silver pieces uh for the components to make one potion of, of, of uh green yeah green. and then i just need one more to make yeah, a, to make a second three one and a half because you need two of the king's foil yeah yeah I have yeah need sorry two three and a half yes thank you. <clears throat> so <laughs> If I get three of the king's warts and three of the mug warts, I can make two potions. Excuse me. Yes. Maybe I'll do that, and then I. Um, I am making potions. Yeah, I'd I'd like to buy uh, enough to make two whole potions. 
as I haven't gathered any of the, any of the ingredients, but I'll do that. Sure. Uh, now, uh, yeah, Hope is the one that can make them. You wouldn't, I don't, uh, do you have the herbalist kit, Turnick? Or no? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, you do have the herbalist kit. Okay, so yeah, you can make it as well. Um, sure. And now the guide was saying about a week to make them. I'm not going to go that week in in-game time would take months for us. So I'm not going to go with a week of in-game Damn. time. So we'll, we'll say it's uh, two days uh, to make it in-game time. That, that could end up being like a week or so or, or a couple weeks of us playing um, for that. So uh, we'll, we'll do it that way. Uh, so yes, uh, three and a half gold for all the components per potion. Um, and uh, uh, Lizardman, how many were you looking to make? Uh, t- two, uh, two whole set of components. Okay, so that okay, was that okay. seven, gold. seven gold. Seven gold. So seven gold for you. And uh, Madam, you were looking for at least the one king's foil. Uh, and I also... need I need three king's foil and three muggles. Three king's foil and one muggle. Okay, so that's three gold, four, seven, seven and a half, seven gold, five silver for you. So if you guys want to take the gold out of your inventory, uh, he hands you all the vials uh, to make it. And like I said, as far as making which herbalist kit, it'll be two days in game time. Um, Right now, you guys have been walking around. It's about 1 p.m. of this day. So uh, 1 p.m. two days from now, uh, once you start the process, uh, you'll be able to do it. Uh, Keep in mind, you do got to take in mind if you guys are doing stuff and traveling, you're not going to be making it during that time. So it'll be something that you'll probably do like when you're in the inn or uh, at rest uh, making it. Is there anything else I can offer you guys? Uh, no, no, no. Just thank you very much for your services of providing the materials that we've been seeking out. My pleasure. Anytime. Come back anytime. Okay, I'm going to head back to the inn. Um, I am Lucius oh, yeah, is at the blacksmith. Yep. All right, so you come into the blacksmith. You see the hardy dwarf working at the forge. Welcome to you over. How can I help you, lad? Good day, Good day, sir. I was wondering, uh, or should, I'm inquiring about some uh, some arrows. Uh, Arrow I, arrowheads, I you mean? To, yes, arrowheads. I uh, I went to the uh, to the to the lovely alchemist, and she said that they get you oh, yes. and our partners yes. and are able Wonderful to help lady. me with some with some poisonous uh, arrowheads. Oh, so you're looking for arrowheads that can uh, uh, incorporate infusing of poison, is what you? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I make those quite often. Actually, quite often. Uh, that is not uh, a problem for me. I will look and see here. All right. So the going rate I have for steel arrowheads for infusion, uh, we're looking at one gold a piece for those. How many were you looking to get made? Uh, I believe she said, uh, if I'm 19, not mistaken, 19. 19? Yeah, 19. 19. 19 gold. Yeah, so every 19 gold then for all of them. Yes. The... Okay, okay. Now, that's for that's for steel, am I correct? Steel, yes. Steel air huts. Okay. Do you have do you uh have anything stronger than steel? I mean, yes. Adamantium. Uh, is the <laughs> ores that you guys sold to us is stronger metal. Uh much more of a process involved forging those are. Oh, really? Because I have, I have, uh... Keep in mind, mechanics-wise, the strength of the arrowhead won't make a difference. Um, okay. Damn. Right, right. Because because all these arrowheads, the, the only thing that's special about these is they're holding poison. So that that's what okay. makes them special, is that it's going to add that poison effect when you use them. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, so I, I guess I could do 19 of those arrowheads, and then, um... Would it, do, would it make a difference if I just do regular, like, um... Of the adamantite arrows, would that would that make a difference for impact? Uh, again, as far as damage goes, mechanics wise, no, it won't change. You'll still get the same piercing damage, uh, regardless. Because uh, okay. we, yeah, we're not. Uh, I mean, it, it, there's a, like <clears throat> mostly what adamant is used mostly for is armor. I think there's a few weapons, but it's mostly an armor thing. That's what they use it more. It's more of a defense. It adds to your AC. Or a special effects it gives you with, uh, with that amazing thing for that. Cancels crits. Right. Thank you. Well, there, there we go. There we go. I lost you. I could not hear you at all. No problem. 
Uh, what I'll say is the, the yeah, the, the adamantite is mostly used for armor. Um, it gives you added effects oh, okay. like yellow mentioned. It cancels crits. That's mostly what it's used for. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, um, <clears throat> if that if that's the case, can uh, how much would it be for chainmail? <laughs> like a thousand gold pieces, my guy. <laughs> wow, really? Even yeah, if it, I even it, if like there's a reason the why this stuff is so of, expensive. Yeah. Like the amount that I have, like that's that's a thousand gold. No, 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 no. You have unrefined ore. Uh huh. He has to smelt the ore, forge the ore, and make whatever you're asking to make. So what you're paying for is the completed item, which is everything all done. It's just like if you buy if you buy gold, it's X amount. Per ounce, but if you get something made out of gold at a jeweler, it costs more. Once it's made, mm -hmm. or if we bring in a gold nugget for, uh, or like a, or is, a gold's the wrong one because it's actual nuggets. But like uh, anything that's in ore form, <coughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, diamonds, for example, you can bring in a diamond; it's worth X amount, but it's it, it's only going to be. It depends on how they cut it and what it comes out to, and that's what makes the diamond more expensive. So you get less for the for the ore than you do for the refined item because there's the labor that's involved in making it. And so it uses a lot more. Saving that so that I'm better off saving that until I got more gold. Yeah. And and I, I would I would say this. I mean it's up to you, you could do whatever you want with your character. But for your character being what he is, uh, heavy armor is not usually something that your a blood hunter would probably carry. I believe Adamantite's <coughs> plate. It's it's plate, isn't it, code uh yellow? They come in all. They come in all. Yeah. Oh yeah. They had the chainmail. Yeah, like he was asking. Yeah, they had the chainmail chain stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Takes so your yeah, you could do. Yeah, out. you could do the chainmail like you were talking about, Lucius. That would be the best thing if you went and got it. No, the chainmail is yeah. heavy armor. Can't. Is he, it heavy? Can't wear heavy. I mean, he could wear heavy armor, but it would. Wait, chain chainmail yeah, heavy it, armor? Yeah, it's it Pretty brings sure. your dex down. That's why I have negative one because I wear I wear chainmail. Yeah, anything that's metal is considered heavy armor. Usually, the the ones that aren't are like the leathers and and. My armor Mithril, class is so eight. Frodo had Frodo had heavy armor this whole time. No, Mithril, no, 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 Mithril no, no, no. is a whole Mithril, different. That's different. <laughs> And that was, 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 um, oh, yes, 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 yes. They're, um, bolts. Make them bolts. Oh, cross? So you want it for your cross? Well, the, the heads will be pretty much, the shaft is what determines if it's an arrow or a bolt. Uh, oh, but okay, I can, yes, great. I, I got I that can, set. I got that worked out. Yes, 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 yes. So I can, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, it's a little wider shaft, I believe, so I can make the, the opening a little bit wider for you for your crossbows. All yes. right, excellent, excellent. So you want all, all 19 for, for crossbows? Yes. Okay. Certainly. So yeah, so I'll, I'll work on these. I'll get started on these right away. I'll hand them over to the alchemist, and then uh, I believe she told you you can probably pick them up uh, tomorrow over at her shop. Yep. All right. Oh, man. All right, Turnick, should we head back over to the terrace and see if our friends are done yet? Turnick? Uh, yeah, I guess we can see what everyone else has been up to. Well, let's go ahead. Let's I know we've go had ahead quite out. the successful venture. Yeah, let's go ahead back over. I'm sure they'll all meet us over here where it's warm. All right, so friendly. I guess uh, I want some more. be happy with finding out what we've done. I want of course, Lucius is heading to the herbalist. <laughs> yep. And he sees and he sees hope and uh, and turning there, and uh, he wants uh, to know, what, hey guys, what there. did you guys get? We're we're not there. We're gone. We left a while. Oh, he said they left. Uh, yeah, we yeah, while you're busy at the blacksmith. While, while I'm walking out, you gotta look at it this way. Just like, just like, ba like, like with battle, you know how all your attacks in one round are basically happen at the same time. While you were talking to the blacksmith, they were talking to the herbalist, so it was at the same time. So they finished and they left while you were talking to the blacksmith. 
Oh, while well, I was still talking to the black yeah. blacksmith? Because we were there when you were talking to the trash, herbal, to the... Trash, the RP. Oh, the alchemist. The no, no. Anyway. He's, he's, she's right. You, Because you, you went from the alchemist to the blacksmith. They were you went yeah. to two shops and they were at the they were just at the herbalist so they left before yeah you finished and we left Trenic with me Trenic went to the I was, I was there at the alchemist for a little oh bit. yeah yeah S -s smelling the figure it out stuff. amongst yourselves quite weird <laughs> well I, I just saw it as I walked into the herbalist yeah, that's not the GM's I found, job I found I, I found hope there and we we did our stuff and we left well the blacksmith stuff yeah. All right, whatever. So I'm going to head over to the herbalist. <laughs> Since they don't want to RP, they want to stay quiet. <laughs> um, all right, so I, I come in here, and mm -hmm. uh, what, what do I see? Let's, let's, get, let's get this started, yeah. Well, you immediately smell everything that's in there, and one from smell yes. in particular is probably very familiar to you. Nope, oh, lost your audio again. <laughs> I guess he can't hear He's us either. Pissing me off. There you go. It's back. It's back. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I love this 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 aroma, this wonderful aroma here. And I and I have a huge smile on my face. <laughs> and and uh, I look at the about. I look at the herbalist and I'm like, oh hello. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I, I love this aroma that, that you have here. What uh Oh, so many if, things, if you, so many things. Yes, yes. Uh this this aroma is actually very strong and I nudge you. What uh what uh what strain is it? Uh, well uh, uh, are are you are we talking pipeweed? Is that is that what we're talking? Yes, yes. So yeah, he pulls out a, he, he there's a couple you see him hanging uh behind he, he grabs a couple of them and, and lays them out. Uh, on a table before you, uh, he points. Oh, look uh, at these beautiful to... flowers! <laughs> he points to the first one, and he's like, "This is some Linian Kush uh, over here. Uh, mild, mild sensation. Um, makes you very euphoric, if you will." Uh, in, in in this one, so the uh, uh, the Linian Kush uh, we're looking. Uh, this is uh, premium. It's from Linian Forest. Get through the elves to get this stuff. It's not easy stuff to get. Yes, uh, yes. So, it, so uh, the the Linian Kush quite expensive. We're looking at uh, 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 two golden ounce uh, for the <coughs> Linian Kush. Um, this one over here in the middle. Uh, this uh, this is. Uh, let's see what would I. You said two golden ounce. Two golden ounce for the Linian Kush. Yes, this okay. is the, the 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 purple spokes over here uh, in the middle. Uh, the purple spokes is more of a relaxation, uh, just calming feeling, uh, makes makes you more relaxed. Uh, this one not as expensive as Lenny Kush. This one is uh, one gold an ounce. Uh, and then the last one over here is is, is kind of this the uh, a mixture of, of different strains that are found across the continent. Uh, oh, people kind of call the this uh, a, 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 a euphemism for this is regs is what they call it. Uh, so this this over oh, here, okay, not as expensive. Uh, this is this is about five uh, five silver uh, an ounce. Okay, okay. Let's see. I'll go ahead and take two ounces of your mid and two ounces of your premium. Okay, so it'd be two, four, six gold total. Excellent. Or four ounces. It's legal now, you know. Oh, I, I heard. <laughs> that's why I'm. That's why I'm collecting so so many ounces for myself. I used to have to sell this stuff out of my home. Like now, you know, last last year or so, I could open up the shop uh, and, oh, and, and sell it here. Me, it's man. it's amazing. It's amazing. It's the shady areas I used to go to <laughs> for, to get some premium Elvin Kush is just so exhausting. Okay, so uh, uh, if if I'm not mistaken, my my two friends came by here earlier while I was what I was. Uh, the tiefling lass and 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 the lizard yes, boys. Yes. I was wondering what uh, I, I if I'm not mistaken, I was I knew she was trying to create some potions. 
Yes. And I was wondering if they if they ended up picking up anything, or because I I was actually wanting to. Yes, they did. They did pick up a few items uh, to make some uh, potions of greater healing. Oh, okay, great, great. Um, what what uh, items were those? Because that way, that way, I can have them make that for me. Uh, I, 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 I I don't really give away customers' information uh, like that. Um, there's been a lot of strange well, I mean, things I going on here in the Dale. Make the potions. Is the, They're your like, friends, right? Yeah. So what maybe ask them. Did they buy? So that way, I know. Again, what's not purchase? Proprietary information. You know, it's kind of confidential information. A lot of spies going on here in the Dale. Ask, ask your friends. Ask your I'm sure they'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Wait, what, want to what ingredients are just used to the make herbs, the potions? Just the what they bought? That they, that they bought. The but like the the ones that they bought or the herbs that you need to make a healing potion. Herbs that they bought is what he oh. asked. Yeah. But he wants to know what herbs he needs to buy to make a healing potion. Yeah. Sure. If he he didn't ask that, he asked him what did they buy. <laughs> I feel you, but this is no, what, but I, this that's... is why I jumped in to make the clarification because sure. that's clearly what's happening here. So tell the man what he wants to know. <laughs> I need the herbs to make the greater potion, sir. Please. So you're asking for a please. recipe. Yeah. Yes, I'll I'll get the recipe from you. Sure, then. sure, sure. I, I I can give you a recipe. He puts a little slip of paper and he, and he slides over desk for you. Uh, he's like, you will need a uh, proficiency in, in, in with an herbalism kit to make these potions. Uh, but he hands you the list and it shows the items, which is the three mugworts and the two uh, kings for. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy enough to make two potions. Okay. Uh, so yes, that would be three mugwort and two kings foil. Which I uh, have the prices here again. Two gold. There you go. Three and a half gold to make one potion. So if you're making for two potions, that's uh, seven gold. Okay, seven gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Hand you a little, uh, Thank you little, little, a little, a little, a little sack to put everything in. And, uh, Wait. If there was a staplers right. at this time, he would staple it for you. But there's, there aren't. So just ties. All it right, together. cool. So do I? Uh, With the do I head over? <laughs> should I head over to the alchemist and see? Uh, and let her know, or the no, she no, no. She knows. Like I said, she said that the black knuckles okay. send her the arrows when he's done with them. All you gotta do is come back the next day to pick them up from her. All right, cool. So where, uh, shit, where are we meeting up, guys? Are we still? Are we at the end, or are we at the? At well, they the, all went back to the tavern. That's where everyone else. Went. The, okay, cool, cool, tavern. cool. Yeah, yeah. that's where I'm headed to right now. All right. All right. So I'll tell you guys all your your wanderings and going to shops and talking. It's about three in the afternoon uh, now uh, of this day, as you guys uh, meet back up at the end. Uh, uh, Coda is passed out on the tavern floor with an uh, empty <laughs> tankard in her hand. With the, with the guy? Not not getting any kind of restful sleep, just unconscious. <laughs> oh my god, what? I, I believe I sent, I, I, I accidentally set a precedence with that guy asleep in the corner. Um. <laughs> food coma, food coma is what it sounds like. She oh, curled up shit. right next to him. <laughs> Fuck what I was talking about before. This is a comfortable bit of floor here. I'm gonna have to take him out of there every now and then. He can't sleep there 24 7. <laughs> Vignor clearly this guy. No, has no, no. No, no, no. You guys got to the inn about stands. 10 a.m. It's 3 p.m. He's only been there for about four or five hours. It's not like he's been there for days. So <laughs> him, him and Vignor are in cahoots. I, I think this guy saved Vignor's life uh, a few years ago. So Just keep like, in mind, the, the, the tavern is needs. cleared out at a certain time of the night. Again, you don't have to go home, but you have to get the hell out of here. Is basically what Vignor says. <laughs> Everyone saved Vignor's life ten years ago, and he lets him do whatever he wants. Wow, just his head cannon, cannon. just just cannon. <laughs> straight head cannon. Can no cannon, cannon. No, no, Vignor did not utter those words ever. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, you know, actions speak loud in the words. Oh my god. Uh. uh So Hope has an empty yeah. bottle. She uh, goes to the bar. She's like, so I want to know how much it would cost to fill this up with ale. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the bottle. It's a liter. It's about... It's, to, it's good. To, to, 
to right. leader now, final. Now, now, now you're going to make me have to do, do math here. Hold on a second. <laughs> I, I want to fill this up with ale so I can uh, carry and put it in my, my water skins. Just upcharge it, yo. <laughs> like, guys, right, $20 a shot. Is okay, so it's two pints per liter. So that's four <laughs> pints. That's four pints. So I have to uh, pull out the menu here. It was the the Equisale that you had, correct? Yep. Yep. I like, I'm liking it. I drink, I've been drinking it. I drink my, yeah, so my, so my look, water. So he looks, he looks, at, already, looks at your so bottle. He's like, that's a mighty big bottle, lady. Uh, that would be about four pints. Uh, so that'd be uh, two, four, six, eight gold to fill this bottle. All right. All right. I want to fill that up. <laughs> big ass. Here's your fucking drinking. <laughs> so yeah, so he, he takes the bottle over to the cask and he fills it up. Pops the cork in it, hands it back to you. Yes. Okay, so I have one bottle of pure water and one bottle of alcohol. Oh, you only had two bottles? I only bottle had two bottles on me. <laughs> I only had two bottles. One of them I filled with water for when I'm doing my spells, and the other one I'm using for uh, my my alcohol. I have a, a two liter bottle with me of alcohol at all times because it's it's necessary. So, so uh, launch your audio again, Slav. Visit Midway right after the show. Yeah. I. Yep. 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 yep yeah, we heard yep, I, yep, and then yep, went away. Yep. Uh, that sounds like that sounds like a chord problem shit. to me. Chord problem. It's not. It's I think it's because it's happening to it's happening to both. Oh, my both your And yeah, like it, it keeps like if one shuts off, the other one cuts. Yeah. What are you that, doing? What the hell's going on? That could be a driver thing. Your computer just might need a reset. <sighs> I turned to Turnic, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> um, uh, your, your, your mic hates your voice. The moment you start talking, it goes, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This is so Turnic. Nothing else. Uh, I'll answer. Yeah, I'll Fuck answer this mic. This is happening. Anzo says, are you guys doing Book of Boba tonight? No, we're going to do it tomorrow during the mid-morning mashup. We're not staying up for it tonight, Anzo. Um, if you want to join us tomorrow at uh, 10 Eastern, we're going to do the watch party during the mid-morning mashup. Yeah, I I, I don't know why I uh, continue watching that show after the second episode. Yeah, let's get to bed. Anyway, what were you saying to Turnic Lucius? Yeah. Since your mic is look like it's working again. Say, here. Okay, so um, so yeah, I turned to turn it, and I swear to God, if you fucking hello, yeah, we hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. still be working. Okay, good. I turned to turn it, uh, and I and I tell him, hey, turn it. I got, I went to the herbalist, and I uh, got these ingredients, these herbs. Do you think you can um, make some potions for me? Maybe I I, I know a little bit of the potion making. I'd say I'd say Hope's probably better better at it than I am, but I am I am capable of doing such. Turnic, I haven't made anything yet. I just got all the equipment to make it, so I'm gonna be uh, uh, right on the same level as you. As for clarification, because I don't know if I clarified this, when I say it's two days to make it, that's per potion. That's fine. <laughs> just you know, I, I just hope you know, it takes a bit of time for me for uh, these pushes to be made. That's that's okay. I'm patient. Like we're talking days. It's okay. I'm patient. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. If <laughs> if the time is gonna be of uh of you know of some issue, I'll give you three gold to make we'll his see. first. <laughs> to make his first. No, just to. Like make 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 yours, then the next one you make, make mine, and then make yours again, and then make mine afterwards. That way it's even. Okay. Cool. Sure, we could uh, figure out. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll start on his end. We'll see. 
All right, cool. So uh, I'm going to give you three gold just for the, you know, just because you're looking out for me. Yeah, th there's no worry. You, you helped. Uh, you, you, you better, you're fine. You, you don't, you sure? No need for three gold. No. You sure? You know, you, I mean, you could use that in order to be some more sausage if you wanted to, you know. Yeah. I'll, t I'll take All more right. sausage. So, yeah, so we wake up, like you're always did we wake up Coda and start heading over to the other place now? Or do you guys want to spend the night here? Well, no, we paid for the inn. Might as well head over to the inn. Like I said, it's, it is still about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the walk to Bremen is only a half hour, so you do have time in daylight to head there if you wanted to. Um, if you're spending the night in, then... I kind of want to get started and make some money so we can finish getting the rest of we, our stuff what so we can move sunset? freely. What time is sunset? Uh, sunset uh, in the Dale with uh, winterish weather, you're looking yeah. about 6.30. 6, 6.30. It's still a late sunset, cool. No daylight savings um, in the Dale. So, three. we have a good three hours before it starts to get dark, and even when it is dark, it's not like we don't have light. I can always just, once we get, I get my staff back, I can always cause that to be my light. The, temp the temperature does drop at night. It, do, uh, it, get, it does get colder. Uh, yeah, and we don't have all night. of our equipment yet, but we still need to get going if we want to buy our equipment, because we're starting to run low on money. Well, I guess we'll just shut up and go if yeah, that's what we're we going to do, that, so we don't we waste time. To get, to get made? Oh, no, you bought those right off the bat. Uh, she she gave them to you. Uh, she did have the stitch and stuff, but that didn't take her long. So you guys got that already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, only thing, the only thing that's taking time is the arrowheads and Coda's knuckles. All right, cool. So, but we could get going, and unless you guys want to wait until tomorrow to pick up your new equipment before we head out to fight this guy. And kill him and bring his head back. Well, I mean, we would have to wait for tomorrow night, if I'm not mistaken, because isn't it like don't, isn't it like a night mission that we that this is? No. Mm, oh, it's not, not necessarily. It's not uh, but the as, longer we wait, the further he might get. He might travel to another town, and we know he's there right now. But that doesn't mean he's going to be there tomorrow. So then, how about we try to get him tonight? I'm game with that. I'm good I mean, with this. Yeah, I mean, the quicker we can make the the gold coin, the better. I mean, I got I got some arrowheads that are that are being made right now, but I still got I still got bolts. You know, I got enough to last through the night. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll start working on my potions once it gets later tonight. Before I go to bed, I'll start setting up my potions, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I'll, um, just as long as we can, I mean, we have Hello, three so hours to got, fight this got, guy. Uh, feathers. Why don't you go wake Coda up very gently? I'm sorry, Hope. Continue. <laughs> I'm not going near that psychopath. <laughs> I mean, I'm closest well, to Coda. I would probably go to wake her up, well, to be honest. All right, really? well, that's fine. When we head out, then we can, I guess you can wake her up. So Hope goes over to where uh, Coda's sleeping and she like lightly, lightly, lightly touches her shoulder and just gently, gently gives it a little bit of a rub. She knows how of a light Coda a wakes sleeper. Up real cute and sweetly like, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, oh yes, oh no, yes, great sleeping partner here. Uh, not much of a conversationalist though. <laughs> so... Uh, Coda, we were going to go head out just as we bit. get... Come on, we're going to go and head out and, and try to get this guy before night falls. Since we know where right. he's at right now, we don't want him to get too far away from us. We have enough oh, We yes. have enough stuff to, to get us through to the next town, but I would really like to get that money so we can finish buying the rest of our stuff so we don't freeze. So this sounds like a... Uh, sounds like a great plan. Danger, I'm sure some you know. cold water, yeah. some cold air will help wake you up once oh. we get there. <laughs> yeah, uh, and she kind of like whips the the jacket on and ah, uh, uh, let's to blemish, Bremen, Bremen. All right, and now is a good time to take our pee breaks. So if you guys want to take a pee break, let's do that now, and then you guys can head on right. to right, Bremen. Right I'm going to uh, restart my computer. Yeah, you do that. <laughs>
So we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Intermission. All right. So, folks, if you're watching, we'll be back shortly as everyone takes a uh, a pee break. And uh, I'll take a look at the chat here real quick before I go. Ah, so there he plays from our other campaign is here. Am I having visions of another realm? John, of course, is in there. Head to the settlement of Sanctuary. Wrong game. Scorching Reapers. Yells like you be guest starring right now. Sounds valid. Yeah. Anzo's in the house, like we said. What up, Anzo? Again? And yeah, if we talk about the Book of Boba, we're not. Uh, tomorrow, during mid morning mashup, 10 a.m., that's when we're going to be doing uh, the watch party for that because we're not staying up for this because it's just it's getting crazy. Uh, you talking Book of Boba? If so, can you explain at your session why you think it sucks? Um, I mean, I'm not going to get too deep into that right now. We, we've, I mean, we've done two watch parties already. It's on our channel. We talk about it, or three watch parties. Uh, and we've talked about all the episodes and what issues we have. Uh, but tomorrow, when we do the watch party, we're going to talk more in depth, obviously, again, uh, on the issues. Uh, there's a lot of problems that at least me, Yellow, Slevin, and, and Anzo all seem to have in common uh, with it. Uh, but we'll be going over that more in depth tomorrow during the uh, mid-morning mashup at 10 Eastern time uh, when we do the watch party for Book of Boba. All right, so I'm going to take my pee break, get something to drink probably, and something to nibble on, and I will be back as well. Really? Wonder why you were running back from my office. What's up, dude? All right, I'm back. Hey, wait.
<laughs> since they asked this question, can I buy weed as, as spell components for illusion spells? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's for pure RP purposes. Okay, just close the door because your audio, bleeds, your voice is loud. It comes in here. All right, I shall return <clears throat> momentarily. All right, I'm back. Yay. But you already knew that. Yep. So it was no surprise to you. Soup is so much better when it's made at home. Soup in a can oh is never taste right. So good. It's just you make it really well with all the spices you put in it. You gotta know how to cook, it's huh? I know how to cook, damn it. I wasn't comparing it to you. Lies! <laughs> Lies! Lies! Lies. Lies. I'm back. Are I you? can't compare it to you. Wait, you never made you. soup. I'm not turning my camera back on. Why? I don't feel well. Oh, I'm sorry, huh? That's fine. But let's go fight this mofo. Well, All it is getting close you... to 10 o'clock, so it's getting yeah. close to my bedtime, too. Well, again, you got to go to Bremen to find out what's going on, too, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's head over there and see what happens. Yeah, we just got to wait for everyone to get back. Slow pokes. I thought I was being slow. <laughs> not like I can tell if you're back or not, because you never have your camera on. I was busy trying to get me a treat, and it was taking way too long to cut it than I thought it would. What? Sausage. <laughs> Are you seriously eating sausage over there, kiddo? No. I got me a piece of cheesecake. Mm. I got myself I could, some chocolate. I could, see, I could see Spencer just having a big hunk of fucking summer sausage and just cutting out pieces and eating it. My family has the most gigantic piece of summer sausage I've ever seen down in our kitchen. It's freaking did huge. I, did like, I call Costco it or what? Did I fucking call it or what? The exact <laughs> so right sausage, too. Humongous, huh? It's it's pretty big. Very earthy. <laughs> Thanks, I just I did, put I soup all over my fucking big. audio monitor. <laughs> you didn't know it comes in that, girl? What is it like? Three inches? Four? I don't know how big it is. It's like how how wide? How how much girth does it have to it? Like, has the end been trimmed? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking twenty questions, man. <laughs> We're very curious about this this unseenable sausage. You mean you're curious about the sausage? <laughs> no. So is Tom Green. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, to remember Tom Green's always, you know. Right. I don't know. Like a good inch or two radius or something. I don't know. It's it's pretty big. It's well, pretty long a big, too. There's there's a big difference between one inch and two inch, hun. I know. Really I know. It's it's uh it's, it's <laughs> two big. inches is way wider. <laughs> is it about this? Is it it's like bigger this? than that. Bigger than that. Bigger okay, than that. that's <laughs> bigger than that. Why does Slevin conveniently have a slice of pepperoni? Like, 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 <laughs> don't, like, put two of those by each other. Maybe you'll have enough. Like, yeah. Like, it's. Oh, it's you're, a big you're talking one. like four. You're talking like. Four I'm talking like. Wide. I'm talking like a giant summer Can sauce. Can you fit <laughs> your hand around it? Can you fit your hand around it? Probably not. But I also have small hands. So. Oh. Small hand syndrome. It's okay. Small hands make things look bigger. (laughs) 
I won't say why? it. I'll behave. I won't say it. I'll behave. <laughs> why do you think? Why do you think guys like to try to go after small women, like little tiny women? It makes it look. It makes things look bigger than. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are bigger than his, unfortunately. <laughs> Notice, though, I'm not worried. So she doesn't have to have small hands. I'm good. Because you feel safe. Yep, I'm, I'm secure Wait, in my like, I'm okay. secure in my manhood. I have man hands right here. All right, slow down now. Now, now we're go now we're going to another whole other deal here. Talking about Lunga's penis. <laughs> no, it didn't start out that way. It started out with about ten minute conversation about Turnix or Spencer's sausage. fucking summer sausage. His family yeah. summer sausage. Yeah, that's just, about your penis, huh? That's just what you heard at the end. Oh. <laughs> and then I was talking about my white hands and you how they that, uh, like girls with little ones, moment, and that's just not happening. He has a wide. You said wide hands. I have. I do. <laughs> we were just talking hands. about how. She said, My hands are is some hands. men <laughs> like girls with little hands because it makes things look bigger. <laughs> I remember, My I remember hands are bigger than the his. first time a big hand bitch grabbed my dick. I was like, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. You developed it. <laughs> God. Give me a back. Give me a back. Your hand covered more than my hand does. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Again, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! I should write that down. Yeah. That's good. All right. So, are you guys deciding to travel to Bremen? Is that what we're doing here? Yep. Yep. I will code up. Let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> First uh, right. We have to go get. We have to go get our our uh, our gear back first, though, before we leave. We gotta go to. Hey. We didn't stop and get well, our we gotta, stuff. No, no, no. no. You got at the, the gate. We got to leave the gate. Up so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got to pick up our Omar because I, I, I don't have anything. We, we picked it up at the gate. Sure. Okay. So, so I, well, I, you yeah, go, hold on, hold on. There's, a, there's other stuff I wanted to say, too, if you guys are going to the gate to pick up your gear. So you go there, and I forgot dude's name at the gate. What did I name him? I named him something. I know there's one Phil. Phil was the other guy, yeah. But the other one was another dude. Um starts with an O, I think. I don't remember. Yes. Uh, he, he's, oh, Oscar, oh. he's Oscar now. Um, Oscar. <laughs> so, Oscar's uh, oh, so he wants your weapons back, so he gives it to uh, sure. Uh, and he also says, since you're traveling, and it is a dangerous place out there, we do also have lockbox services for valuables if you would like to put anything uh, in safe keeping or safe storage while you're out and about. Uh, uh. Hmm. Well, oh, thank good. you. That's very sweet of you. And uh, Koda's going to pull out one of the pickled herrings and say, here, this is for you, for your hard work here at the gate. It's a tasty, tr it's a tasty treat. I have a jar it's of them at home. <laughs> it's, it's real good, right? It's interesting that a whole one meal ticket, one whole meal ticket just gets you a tiny little treat like that. Well, no, no, you said you gave him a pickled herring. The meal is pickled herrings. Oh, I gave him the pickled herrings that they... You know, oh, you gave him the whole him, fucking jar or bowl or yeah. whatever it is? Whatever, however... Well, he, just ate one, he just ate one. He just stay one. Just cool. Ha, enjoy. That is for you all. Uh, thank you for your hard work. <laughs> for you all. So did, did anyone want to leave anything in a, uh, this... this no. The safety security box, if you will? No. Um, no I'm grabbing all my weapons and... I think I, I, think I want good. I don't, I don't think we need... I have my I had my rod never left me and neither did my magic ring. All right, so you, so you got so he asked for the key, um, <clears throat> and opens up the lockbox and you guys get all your weapons and everything back, so you can re-equip those. Yep. <clears throat> I start sl sliding my daggers, in my sleeves, and on my boot. Crossbow. Grab my <laughs> my bolts. You're not I'm supposed to be clear. You are supposed to be a rogue. <laughs> That's why she's like a rogue with her other character. I, I mean, like clerics, clerics are badasses. They are pretty much tanks as well. But it's usually like maces and shit that they use rather than daggers. But <laughs> and magic, she's hiding daggers in her sleeve. Yeah, That's a rogue. You're a rogue. We need a, a whole <laughs> plot subplot that turns hope into a rogue. 
Well, yeah, obviously, <laughs> um, Harry, they established Harry Potter is a rogue, not a wizard. So, you know, that was that's a thing. Um, Canon. So, what are you talking about? Harry Potter's Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. That's Anything awesome else thing. you guys are doing at the gate before you leave, it's or are you heading out to Bremen? Um, we're good. All right. So you guys head out into uh, the... Just, just, just to go on uh, uh, Coda's thing. And my story, it says that hope comes from a family well known in thieveries and hired assassins. That, 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 that is the first rogue. line in <laughs> my incredible. story. That's incredible. She's like, I've read, bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never asked. Uh, it's in my story. It's a very. I've first asked line. you multiple times about <laughs> your family. You've never brought us. Oh, my sister is missing. That's it. That's all we get from you. That's, that's that's the most important part. Is that I'm looking for my sister. <laughs> you come from a family of assassins. <laughs> but I'm a cleric, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, you're <laughs> cursed. <laughs> your god is playing an evil trick on you. I'm a I'm a cleric, but I do like I do like my daggers, and I did pick pick up a thing <clears> or two from my parents. Yeah, the homebrew some rogue shit for her. That's what you need. To do. All right, so you guys, you guys head out into the wilds. The wind is howling. Um, like I said, we're getting close to like four o'clock in the afternoon. It's really cold. You you bundle yourselves up and you start making your way down the road, um, which around the lake, around Mare Dualden, which uh, leads you uh, to Bremen. Uh, so you have about a half hour walk. I'm assuming we're fast traveling there, right? Yeah. All righty. Then you arrive in Bremen. Everything uh, when you in in these towns look very similar. It's it's, it's cold everywhere. Um, there's not much uh, uh, change to everything. Let me add you guys to the map here. It's very very it's very uniform, uh, if you will. All right, so let me add everyone here. Boom boom boom! But I gotta take some of these off because they don't need, all need to be there. Like giant snack does not need to be here. No, Boy does not need to be there. What is it doing there? What the uh, I can add the part. I can add the. Up. I can add the part. I can add the whole. Instead of adding each individual person, I can add everybody at once. Um, and it's easier to do that and take people off than it is to add each individual person. All right, there you go. Oh, let me shut off Fog of War on this. Where's Coda? Where's Bro, all, all Lucian? All are together. What are you talking we're about? Missing peoples. No. No, we're not. Everyone's uh, there. The mic shows it. The mic doesn't show it. Reload. Refresh your map. It's uh, it's in the bottom right corner. Okay. Cool. All right, we're good now. I don't know why the snake is still on your screen in yellow. <laughs> I took him off. <laughs> I still see it too. <laughs> refresh. I don't see him anymore. Do, do, do what Marie does. Oh, yeah, refresh. Y'all need a refresh then. Refresh. Refresh. <laughs> Yellow's like, nah, I'm just going to move the map over. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I should have just said that. <laughs> so you arrive in Bremen. Uh, like I said, it's, it's a much smaller town uh, than Ice Hall. Um, snow everywhere. You see, you know. Small buildings and stuff um, as you enter. Um, and people are just not many people outside. They're kind of, you just see a few people here and there um, walking between buildings uh, to and fro. Um, you do see one building, a larger building near the center of town that seems to be more lit up than others. And there's more people. So this is apparently most likely the tavern um, of the town. Um, you don't see the caravan. You don't see Torg, Torg's tab, uh, um, trades, or caravan anywhere here. As you arrive. All right. So let's go to the tavern and talk to some people and see if we can figure out where he went. Right, right. Because uh, they they all think that he's just a uh, a traveling merchant, right? So yeah. Let's, so we're just go. gonna look for our traveling. This guy's traveling merchant because he has something special we're looking for. Go to the tavern. What's our cover story? We are an almost unassuming band of the Scorching Reapers. <laughs> that doesn't work here. That doesn't work here. Nothing is scorching here. 
Uh, the weeping reap, we, reaper, reapers. Because we why are we reapers yes, still? We're cause, trying cause, to be unassuming. Yes, we're supposed to be docile, incognito. We are we're, we're undercover. We are, we're we're definitely not the unlikely heroes. That's for sure. Right. Um, because everyone likes to call us that. Um. Let's just say that we're uh, traveling around this area because we want to learn more about why the snow isn't isn't stopping. Mm, just I here mean, for information. I think that's a simple answer mm -hmm. there, but okay. Eh, sure. We don't know that. Why we're not? not from the area. And I, I marked I marked the tavern on a map for you guys too. I wouldn't. I would. I would rather we weren't inquiring. Our cover story wasn't. We're asking questions in town. But maybe if we do be... ask questions, wouldn't that maybe bring him no, to us? No, we can ask questions. We can ask but questions. I'm just if saying we, that should if be our cover we, story. If we do make that our cover story, wouldn't they come find us? I don't I don't know. Instead of, they're not going to think that we're going to be able to harm them, but they do want to stop us, right? So why wouldn't we? Well, they, don't, they don't know who we are. They don't. So... Why wouldn't they want to stop anybody inquiring about more information? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. No, I didn't understand. Yes, except then we will be on their radar and that would be bad because then they would be able to get the drop on us. And we want to get the drop on them. True, true, true. Yeah. But this is a lot of area. I'd rather them come to us than us having to run around looking for them. Yes, well... Either way, this is a lot to of towns, a lot of towns to to try to go through, just to try to find one person. It would be much easier if we would just signably try to say that we are <clears> looking <throat> for a reason to stop this and see if the reason will come to us instead. That that does not seem like a good idea, but uh... it could cut some of the time down, though, and it's not like we haven't. <laughs> Fought before we can handle ourselves, you know that. I know that you <laughs> died a little while ago. I know that. Oh, <laughs> those damn dinosaurs don't count, little fuckers. Yeah, well, would, maybe whatever we do to prevent being ambushed again is probably the right way to, to move forward. I think you were right about going to the tavern. We should go there and we will ask some questions. We're just looking for some items, right? We're just looking for a Traveling merchants. We heard that they have some stuff that we want to purchase. Sure, some rare items. Maybe something magical I can look for. Why not? Maybe another ring could be fun. Or some another wand. Sure, yes, absolutely. That, they would have, that they would like have mind, something rare. When you see rare. this, it, this looks like a village. It's a much small, it's not a expansive town like Isol is with lots of merchants. Uh, it's mostly seems like a small little hamlet, small little village, mostly homes. Just a few little essential shops like bakeries and, and stuff like that and then tavern. Yeah, so let's say we're looking for rare items <clears throat> that will disclose anything here. Sure. Because we'll it doesn't look like they would have any kind of rare items in a place like this. Seems like a good idea. We'll go to the tavern. Go to the tavern. Is the tavern the one with white spot on it? Yes, yes, yes. So you guys walk up through town. Like I said, there are a few people walking by. They're kind of just giving you wearing glances as, as you walk as you walk by. Uh, you see a nice fountain in the middle of the square, and the tavern right across with a sign, a tattered wooded sign hanging out from the outside. It says the Malted Mule. Are right, you going to fast travel there, or do we want to? Still you don't. Go there it doesn't matter if you move there or not. There's no interior to this, so. That's a terrible tavern name. Why would they name it that? <laughs> Ugh. Let's go so see we're if at the they tavern. have good drinks, though. Usually, bad tavern names have incredible drinks. Ugh, I don't trust that. That's why I'm glad I brought my own alcohol. <clears throat> All That's right, so you guys head inside. Like um, it's not it's not as boisterous or as packed as the Boar's Head was. Uh, it's uh, it's you know, a little bit smaller, kind of dingy. Um, you do see a uh, a woman behind the bar, uh, and there's a few scattered people at tables in there. Everyone's kind of just keeping to themselves. Um, chatter's kind of at a minimum. Alright, then. 
Guess we'll go up to the uh, barkeep. Yes, barkeep. Hello, Burns. my name is Cold. Welcome to the Malted Mule. My name is Janice. How can I help? Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you have something known as the Ice Wind Dalian Mule? I'm sorry. The Dalian Mule, the drink. It's like a. I have never heard of this drink. Oh, all right, Stan. What do, you, um, what do you what have do you that's suggest? super strong? We have mead and well water. That's what we have. Well water? How strong is the well water? <laughs> Not as strong as the mead. <laughs> All right, then I'll have a glass of mead if it isn't too much trouble. So, so she, she pulls out four pints. They're pretty dirty. They don't look like they've been cleaned very well. Uh, and she pours the mead in there and it also looks kind of cloudy. Looks like it was a bunch of different things kind of mixed together in a barrel. Um, and hmm. uh, puts them out there, just slides like them over. They, they, they clean the bar and wring the rag out. She's like, the, there you go. That'll uh, be three silver each. I'm going to place a gold on the counter and say, here's for mine. And uh, would you happen to know anything about any traveling merchants? I'm looking for some particularly rare items in these parts. Uh, I mean, there's Torgs. That passes through town. Uh, they were here not too long ago. Oh, and they, Are they went. Already. Yeah, they did leave. They lived yesterday, I believe. You know where they went? It's kind of what town they were heading to next? It's like I don't, but the gentleman over there with the obnoxious feather in his cap. Name's Car uh, Kartrek. He deals with tours oh, quite often. He might know. Thank you. Thank you for your for your time. She like walks away. What? You're what welcome. And bring back drink? the mugs when you're done. I'm not taking one. Yeah, Lucius what doesn't does, take one either. <laughs> what does Card Trek drink? Card Trek? The well water or the mead? The mead, obviously. Oh, okay. <laughs> take the, grab a mug, grab one one of the other mugs, <clears throat> start walking over to Card Trek. So you, you walk over to Kartrek, you see him, it's like his his, his, his clothes seem kind of shabby. Um, he's not uh, very well-dressed, kind of dirty, uh, except the hat looks really new and it's like, uh, <laughs> like his clothes are very grayish, brownish kind of colors, but the hat is like this green velvet with this big red <laughs> feather sticking out of it, missing a couple teeth and he's just sitting there kind of looking at his mug drinking. Kind of on his oh, own, great. sitting at the table. Uh, kind of walk him. That's a lovely hat that you have. Place the mead down on the is he, table. Is he human? For him. Yes, he's human. He's human male. Okay. Thank you. Is that for me? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I, 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 My mother always told me, if you see a man with a lovely hat on, you buy him a drink and tell him so. Picks up the mug and... <laughs> I'm a half. Stop looking up. I'm here, boy. And he just puts it down and he turns around again and says, <laughs> doesn't even just takes the meat and doesn't even say anything anymore after you guys have that. Wow. I'm just looking. Lucius is just looking at Coda through the bar. Uh, from, All from right. The bar. <laughs> Coda, uh, um, Hope puts, goes and grabs the other two and she puts a gold coin down on the table for the lady. Um, well, she you comes guys are really over there generous. By Coda. Thank you. She goes over by Coda too and puts the other glass down in front of him. We have some questions. We're looking for the traveling merchant that comes around here. So are you guys like, did you guys sit or are you just all like standing around him? No, I, I, Coda, you're sitting, right, Coda? I'm a halfling. I'm standing. It's the same. Okay, so I take a seat. I take a seat across from him. The other guys he, are by the bar. He looks up. And he's like, well, sure. Just invite yourself. Why don't you? Here, here's a drink. We have some, I have a question for you. What do you want? I want to know the traveling turban that comes around here that sells goods. I am looking for some rare items, some rare magical items, and I want to see if they have any. Orgs? Yeah, that's yes, a that's traveling merchant yes. that comes around here, right? Yeah, they were here. Yes. They left yesterday. Where'd they Which go? Direction? <laughs> Information doesn't come free, you know. She takes two gold my, out and puts it on mug. there. I put my mug of bead on the table. 
Thank you. Nor is mead free. Uh, I, thank you. Thank you for that three silvers worth of mead. Much appreciated. I slide I two gold over to him. <laughs> I slide two gold over to him. Um, he looks at maybe it. She slid the gold first. <laughs> he grabs it. Gives it a bite. He's like, "It's a good place to start." Slides it over to his. Puts it in his pouch. Hope, please let me hit him. <laughs> How much will information cost? Tell you what, five gold and I'll give you the skinny. All right, I put three more gold on top of the. I slide three more gold to him. Grabs it and he puts it in his pouch. He looks over at the halfling, and her, obviously very angry face. He's like, at least some people have some manners around here. <laughs> Do you know where they went or not? Question for you before I give you an answer. Why are you looking for Torx? Because you seems like... I told you. I want some magic. You seem pretty items. intent on, on knowing where they're at. and It doesn't Make feel sure like it it's uh, just about buying is, stuff. This place is cold and I don't want to stay around forever. I would prefer if I can find them to get the information I need so I can leave. This Does this look like a place I want to be? I'm freezing right now. We're all freezing. What's your point? I know, but I am for a much, much warmer climate. I'm used to a much, much warmer climate, and I would like to get back there. But I need to complete my task and find my magical items. Or if they don't have them, they might know where I can find them. <clears throat> Moment. I need to roll for deception. Uh, if you want to, but I, I'm rolling something for myself. <laughs> You're hiding something. I don't believe you. I roll 14. Still don't believe you. <laughs> Sorry, I rolled a 17. <laughs> uh, uh, Koda's going to tele telepathy to... Hope and say, Hope, please, can I just start hitting him now? No. I uh, okay, slide him. I slide him five more gold pieces. Oh my god! It's a mighty amount of gold. That's, I, I do appreciate that's it, but to, I gotta tell you something. That is that there, Torg, is to buy your. I'm not Torg. Apathy. Keltrek. Just to buy your apathy, Cal. I Listen. just want to get this stuff so I can go home. He le he just leans forward. He's like, "Listen to me, all right? Yes, I'll take the gold for the information, but you guys gotta understand. Torgs isn't what it seems to be. It's dangerous. I can't just be. I'm be risking myself just telling you information like this. There's reasons. What are you guys looking for them for? There's got to be a reason. What are you looking for? They're traveling around. I'm sure if we walk around Don't long enough, shit. we'll find them. I just don't want to do it. I want you to give me the information so I can go get what I need and go home. I just I don't, don't want my life in danger. Around. I don't know if it's worth it. Takes some money, throws it back on the table. If you ain't honest with me, I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, violence isn't no, let helping. It happen. Let it happen. Let it no, happen. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, what is this, uh... Yeah, I could come over and try and persuade him, but... I only I have, I like mean... the idea of Koda punch him in the face and No, stuff. he hasn't done anything wrong. I just want information Never from start him. with the head. Do you want me to pull out the Joker? I can pull out the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean... Okay, so, um... Either somebody can come and put more gold on the table, or someone can try to persuade him. I mean, my persuasion's not very good. I rolled, a, I rolled a 19 for deception. Okay. You haven't actually okay. deceived him, though. Yeah, you have to say something first. Uh, I'm about to say. I'm about to say something. Information first, doesn't come. Well, you, hold on. You got to say it first because I got to know because what you're asking or what you're trying to deceive him for. The roll determines if you're able to do that. So you can't roll first. You have to say what you're doing first, then roll. Okay, well, information doesn't come cheap. 
That's not Obviously. even deceiving. That's what is it? What is so this? What it, okay, what so then what, what do I roll for that? Persuasion, <laughs> I guess. That's persuasion. But... What are you well, trying I, to I, I know, but I'm, I'm trying to understand what it, what are you what are you trying to accomplish? That, that's right. What are you trying to accomplish? Insight. Okay, yeah. So, okay. if, if you gave right, him so more gold, let's try I, to I get more information him. out of him. I look at him and I and I you know I I, I play, I'm playing I, with one I, of my bolts. Well, I walk over and I push oh, push this aside and I say to intimidate him. and I say, look, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and look you. And I grab him. And I say, wow. <laughs> we you need this information helping. where this guy is. This tiefling has been pissing me off all day about these magical goods. Just, if, you, if I don't find out where this guy is, I'm going to, you don't want to know what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to roll for intimidation. Okay, go ahead. Roll. <laughs> Yeah, you thought I was the scary one. No, this Nat owl 20, here. Nat 20 plus 9, 29. Yeah, so he's he's he is definitely terrified. He is scared. Okay, he, he, you got him terrified. He's kind of pissing himself. But, but at the same time, he's like, you gotta understand. Whatever you think you can do to me, the Keltro guy can do worse. You just don't understand. I need to. I just want to know why you're looking for them. So at least I know what I'm what I'm preparing myself. I'll even tell it to you for free. But just you gotta just tell me why. I turn to Coda. Do we do do we tell him? Uh, I've been wanting to hit him since I've walked over here. So <laughs> I hand him over to Coda and put him down. Start in punching him in the face. And Coda's turn. I start punching him in the face. And as you're hitting him, he's bleeding, and, and he's like, "You still don't get it, do you? You can I'll hit punch me him again." You can keep hitting me. Ain't gonna be I nothing as bad. Again. Nothing as bad as this. What he would do? <laughs> He's spitting out beat teeth. Him to death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's the only one that has the information we need. Stop hitting him, fucker. You do oh, notice sorry. the other patrons now are kind of looking at what's going on, and they're like, wondering now what's going on. And they're kind of like murmuring to themselves. Gotta be fucking kidding me right now he owes me money <laughs> never never cheat a halfling out of a drink hey don't pay no money you do notice the people they'll start putting their hands like on their swords and their daggers kind of looking at you guys okay i i you hear, you hear a couple mumbles of outsiders I, I i crouch down and i do uh cure wounds on him Okay. So I'm gonna cast a spell and cure his wounds. Don't cure waste wound. your spell on this fool. I'm going to cure his wounds. I'm going to say, please, please. I'm sorry for my my traveling per uh, friends, but we okay. we need this information. We need this information. I need you to tell me where those magical items are, or where I can find the merchant so I can get them. Thank you for healing me. I just gotta understand. Dangerous business it is. Information, as much as we paid you to just tell us where it is, information goes both ways. What we can disclose to you can be just as bad as what you're disclosing to us. I am paying you for the information I need. Dealing with Caltro's dangerous business. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. People say that he was born on the holiday of midwinter. And that the Frost Maiden's blessing protects them from the cold. They're probably wise tales, but they're scary as hell. That's all I can They're not me. protecting me. I just want to know where he's at so I can get oh, my so stuff and have, go. He should have super hard nips. Persuasion when I, on him. When I bought this hat, Tord mentioned they were headed to Dugan's Hole. Dugan's Hole. Okay. Okay. Perfect. They're at Dugan's Hole. You. you can ask around the Dirty Maiden Tavern. I'm sure someone there will know more. Just keep in mind, this is why I'm so terrified. Torga has quite a few men with her. And Keltro's the scariest one of them all. That's that's perfectly fine. I appreciate you. I appreciate your concern for us. I do. Thank you. Keep the gold Confused. and yes. buy yourself a drink. Your name is Kaltros. No, his name is Kartrak. The guy you're looking oh, for is, is Sefak Keltro. I'm going to take his hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, sleight of hand? Thank you. 
I'm just taking. I'm not trying to be sneaky. I'm taking it. Just <laughs> take. Yeah, but he's he grabs on. He's gonna fight me for it. He grabs onto. It. Obviously, he's gonna. He spend whatever money he had on his head. Obviously, he's gonna grab onto it. Yes. <laughs> that would be a, uh, that would be an athletics then, not a really a sleight of hand. Sure. Hmm. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so you start to take any. Yeah, just leave me my one thing that I have in life. Sure. Enjoy. Your, my life is probably already forfeit because of you nosy people. I can kill you now if you like. You could have just given us the information. We Better would killed by a little halfling than by Keltro. All right, then. I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here to start war. I don't want these guys coming after us. Let's go. He said, I grab, I grab, which would be I a grab. mercy to die by my hands. Who I grab am I, to deny I, just, him? I just grab Code and pick her up. I'm taking her outside. Yeah. We're uh, leaving. Okay. <laughs> All right, athletics. Uh, athletics. <laughs> what do I do? Strength against her but athletics? But the, 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 the six or seven or so people that are in there, you do see them start to stand up. and, and We're leaving. No. Do I do anymore. strength against her athletics? We, f- yes. we fight them and kill them all. And we, ra- no. and we burn the town to the ground. Okay, I got nine. And what did she get? Six. All right, so I, I beat her. <laughs> she beat you up. <laughs> I pick you up. This I'm picking you up and I'm taking you. I'll kill you all. I'm <laughs> okay, not afraid I'm of you. Taking, I'm not afraid of you. I'm taking her and we're leaving. I don't know her, guys. I don't know Boy, her. Okay. That 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 you. reputation uh, skill ladder is not going to move up very highly. <laughs> <It's Wendell. laughs> all right, come on, let's go. I'm taking her. We're we're heading to the next town. Where's the next town at? Oh uh, yeah, so you guys just you do you do leave. Everyone's kind of looking at you side eye. And why are they all going to his hole? Side eye as you guys are leaving. Yeah, uh, I have co- I have coat under my arm. Let's go. <clears throat> Let me put you guys all back on the map here so you can see it. I'm adding everyone again. Just ignore Coda. them all. But this is just so you guys. Coda's can see just it. hanging in Hope's arm. Yeah, I'm carrying her. You sh- we should have just killed him. He said no. it would be a mercy. No, it's not happening. Who am I to deny him? What the hell? For my pleasure of perishing. What the hell? They, they already, they already hate outside. Why is that playing? I don't even know why that's playing. First, we can't hear it. Stop yelling. It's yeah, blasting in my eardrums. And then, uh, Stop yelling. why is there a giant dragon again? There we go. It's because it's a group. Uh, all right. So, um, as you guys notice, so you guys are at Bremen. Uh, Dugan's Hole is to the southeast on the shores of Kjorn Selawan. Shit, they went far. Holy crap. We have to fight the giant dragon now? Um, how far? How far is that? How far of a walk is that? Uh, it's a little bit further than it was from Ice Hall to Bremen, so it's about 45 minute walk. 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, mush. So what time is it now? It was like, what, 3 when we left? So now it's like 3.30? Yeah, Yeah, well, yeah. You got there about, yeah, almost 3.30-ish, 4. So, well, we didn't stay there very long. No, you got you got you got about a couple hours still before the sun goes down. All right, uh, I guess we're gonna start this 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 track to this place now. Mush. Um, did you guys want to head there or did you want to end it here? Um, yeah, it is it is ten thirty for me, so I do have I do have work in the morning. All right yeah. then, see you next time on All right, then. So and this here yes, you got the I, information. I'll be I'll be carrying Coda all the way to the new place because I don't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> you got the information oh, that what a, uh, what a role reversal that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First holding by hand, now holding Coda. I'm, I'm carrying her. Here. I'm carrying no, her. Yeah, yeah, Coda trying to keep Coda tethered. <laughs> well, before you Hope join Chris, Hope yeah. would carry my hand, like I would holding hold my hand, hand tight, 
because... So, so I wouldn't go wander off and do, and do things. Yes, because he always got us in trouble! No, he would always go play familiar. with things and get us in that trouble. Not, that's not that true. Sounds familiar. Are you jealous? Did you, is that where you go to that? Was it nurture over in? nature? Is that what it was? Right. right. Um, Tony was a bad influence on Hope. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. go touch everything. I just like to walk around by myself. There's a difference. It's horrible. It's Not horrible. really. It's horrible. <laughs> it's Not really. wanted to touch and play with everything. And you make a lot of money. Hey, the buns look fun. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, George, stick <laughs> it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ooh. All right, folks. Council of Six, Season Three, Episode One. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're done with this episode. Uh, so next week, you guys will pick up uh, in Dugan's Hole. As you got the information, uh, that's where Torx Caravan went in your search for Pacific Caltro. Uh, Dugan's Hole. Episode. A lot of a lot a lot a lot of merchanting, a lot of buying, a lot of interacting this episode. Merch and tourism. Merch and Voice acting. Mercantilism. Uh, Bryce Burninghouse in the chat says, man, I wanted to see Coda kill a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he almost, she almost did. Yep. Yeah, she, she did. almost did. She no, was going I wasn't down a, until... I wasn't gonna, about to spoil our name already. Um, we already are planning on killing somebody, and I don't need that to be out there right now. I need I need people to, to trust us at this moment for, for now. Smart move. <laughs> Smart move. But it was entertaining. I know. Okay, for it. <laughs> it's very entertaining. Especially I was trying to quietly get the fucking information by paying him. Especially guy picturing looked like a, he... a tiefling picking up this little halfling, arms and legs waving, <laughs> screaming at everyone. <laughs> it was quite. When my intimidation didn't work, I said. Well, you I mean, it did. Well, you intimidated you did him. It did. Um, but that wasn't going to help our situation. It even it even made him say, "I'll give you information for free." He just wanted to know why you guys were doing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we couldn't tell him that we're going to kill him. <laughs> that Sometimes, wasn't going to help the situation, yeah. so I wasn't going to tell <laughs> You're him that. Going to get zero information if you killed him. <laughs> no, I'm not going to, because we're going there to kill this guy, and that's Seven, I'm not yeah. going to tell him that we're going to go there to kill this guy. Because then, the, definitely, the fact that... Uh, I mean, he's obviously terrified him. of him. If you get rid of the guy, it might, might relieve some of yeah. his fear. <laughs> well, again, I don't trust him, so I'm not going to tell him that we're he out to kill somebody. also, though, seemed like someone, if we said we were going to go kill him, oh, there's no way you're going to be able to do that, blah, 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 blah. And then go warn the guy to try to get Or he could have gave you information about him. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, Ooh. we know, we, we got a, the information. So it's roll the dice, and I didn't want to chance it. I know, especially yeah. since he's not there, anyways. So, yeah. all right, well, that was okay. fun. We'll be back next Tuesday with another episode of Council Six: ooh, ooh. Souls of Magic's Dawn, as they brave the wilds of Icewind Dale. Um, and like I told everyone, as you were asking weather. about it, yeah, Fucking our. Shit. Uh, Book of Boba Fett. We're not doing the watch party in the middle of the night. We're going to do it tomorrow during the mid-morning mashup. So if uh, Slev and uh, Anzo are available, they can join us for that as well. But we're going to be doing that tomorrow during the mid-morning mashup at 10 a.m. Eastern. That's a lot um, easier. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, this Friday coming up is the other campaign, uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen, Episode 2, that we just started. Uh, that's at 10 Eastern time on Friday night for that campaign and our mid-morning mashups during the week as usual. So that's all we have for you guys today. So until next time. Till all the one. Till all.